Justin Baines. Yeah. Damn, damn. Literally, you remember one girl said, "Blend me and drink me." Yo, what oh, the? Fuck? So she's like, so I could explore your insides. Yo, nah. Now, I download Twitter, bro. I post it. Twenty-seven minutes, it had like ten thousand views, and I was like fifteen thousand, twenty thousand. Damn. The next morning, when I woke up, it was a hundred. I'm just laying there in bed, looking at my phone, I'm like, bro, what is happening? My mom came downstairs one day. She was like in tears, and I was like, yo, what happened? And she's like, I had a dream that you were in a stadium, and like everyone was just singing your songs. Yeah. Welcome know. back to Juju's podcast oh, episode shit, you went into 39. Bro, I always ready. do that. Damn. I always try to catch you. Ready, bro? <laughs> Holy shit! Chill out with Justin. You didn't get no uh, what? cans or nothing, bro. We oh, ran a Red Bull. Damn, <laughs> yeah. yo. Ramen was one literally time. like, yo, watch this can pop. Yo, <laughs> the one time bad, I come, yo. Yo. Right? the one time I come, you run out of yo. fucking. Um, even yeah. for the last and one. I saved it for this one too. That's crazy, bro. Yeah, he saved it. He saved his first podcast in this one because we didn't even get in Red Bull, bro. Fuck, I feel bad. That's now. crazy. <laughs> you know, we'll do an air one. Like, we'll just add this out after. <laughs> <laughs> yo, nah, fuck you. I actually feel like shit. Yo, it's all good. It's all good, yo. I could go with some Red Bull right now. Nah, nah, don't, nah, don't bro. Should we go get it real quick? <laughs> the bro, gas station's right here. It's not even that serious. Okay. <laughs> shit. You know, we could. It's like right down the street. Tell me. It's more for you guys if you feel like you want to be a party. <laughs> no, thing. man, it's, it's for I, all I'm, of us. I'm chill. With how it's like it. shotgun, you know. We didn't give him the shotgun, bro. Yeah, that's fucked. We'll just edit it, bro. We'll edit you know, it. Hold it, hold it. Right Toronto now. too, bro. Like he came from Toronto. Yo, came to Surrey. Okay, why? It's on you too. Why are you fucking? Yeah, yeah, I know. I'm, re- I'm realizing right now. Bro. Yo, I'm what? Right now. This guy's making. We just get dirty, man. He's looking at me and shit like he's all fucking fifty percent. Yeah, I'm like looking straight at him. Yeah, yeah. On him. He's like, you. I told you to bring him. Yo, no. I actually said we should go to the gas station. He's like, but you're like a Red Bull plug, though, you know. I can't believe we ran out, bro. We usually have like boxes on yeah, boxes. Aren't you a connoisseur, bro? Okay, not a connoisseur. Okay, relax. Nah, I know. You're yeah. a little big guy. Bro, in r- ramen's, <laughs> ramen's thing, you were drinking like nectarine or some shit. Bro. <laughs> Yo, bro. I was like, what kind of flavor is all that? All the flavors, bro. We have like dabby all the flavors, yeah. but the one time. Fuck, I feel Yo, those, bad. Those summer edition ones are fire, though. <laughs> Don't remember. This is like free marketing right off the bat, eh? Yeah, sure. Yeah, fuck, man. Red Bull pay us, bro. What Yo, actually. But fuck Rebel Man. Today we have a very special guest, a person with a gifted voice but still has the hard work to show it, a future worldwide artist, and somebody who may steal your girl, Justin Baines. Yo, damn. Clap it up, clap damn, it up. Damn, yo. What do you think with the intro? Got me, got me gassed up, dog. <laughs> somebody might steal your girl. How do you yo, that, I, I, the only reason why I say I added that line, I wouldn't know that if it wasn't for Toronto. Yeah, we're yeah. in Toronto and then we're like talking about girls yeah. and shit. And then I got the vibe that no, okay, no, for some a, background info. Not that he's like, oh, yeah, I'm no, a respectful no. guy. Bro. No, no. He's a respectful guy. Not look like he, that. Just, no. he just has riz, I, I feel like. You know what I'm saying? He has yeah. riz. The Razor of Oz. But uh, I used the filter on TikTok once. I got Razor of Oz, bro. It is what it is. That's a filter? What the fuck is, is that? It is, bro. <laughs> the Razor of Oz. But yo, I got a first question. Just we'll get into a question, then we'll start going to other shit. Um, for the people who don't know you, your name is Justin Baines, you're an artist. And Tell us how you started, how, how'd you start making music? Um, well, I mean, it's, it's uh, always been in the family because okay. um, my, my dad loved music too since he was a kid growing up. Um, and uh, like, I guess like genetically or whatever, it was just kind of bred into us, you know, like it was always there around the house, like yeah. watching, whether it was watching movies, watching videos on YouTube, playing, like music was always a thing, you know? Yeah. yeah. Um, and it was even like, Watching like Sari Gama Pa with our parents. <laughs> yeah. You already know how that goes. You know, like, it's literally like, yeah, bro. exactly. It's literally like the singing version of Master Chef. You know, like yeah, everybody's yeah. watching that shit. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> and it's funny because I, I literally remember like times where like our dad and our mom would be like, um, like you guys are gonna sing when you're older. You're gonna make music, whatever, whatever. Well, and she said bro, that, like, cause they would just be like, cause they knew we had it, right? Yeah. yeah. But parents know first, yeah, right? cause like we had like, cause obviously we were like running around singing as we are kids, like like yeah. everybody does, right? Yeah. Um, but I guess like my dad obviously knows what's good. Like he could hear that we actually had a voice and some yeah. tone as a kid too, right? Um. But yeah, then like, but I remember at those times, like we would just be like, no chance, never. Cause like, I, bro, we were so shy. Like, well, yeah, for me, yeah, at bro, least I, I can speak for myself. Like yeah. I know Ramin used to say no too, but like he grew out of it faster. Like I was like so shy, bro. I was, we like, like shy in high school as well. Um, or was this just young? Like, no, sh- I meant like shy to like thinking about singing in front of people. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. No, like, in high just, school, it, it like, felt like, like, I, oh, like, why would, like, yeah, I feel like, like I feel what are people gonna say? There's yeah. so many eyes, whatever. Yeah, in high school, I was kind of like a little bit more reserved until like grade 10 ish. Then I kind of grew into myself a bit, yeah. But like, yeah, especially with like you know, thinking about like singing in front of other people, um, I was just like, never, ever, ever. And then, um, fast forward, I think this was like 2019 or 20, like. Yeah, 2019, the end, close to, it was like June or July-ish. Yeah. July, I think. 
So like obviously like I've loved music my whole life. Like it doesn't you don't just wake up one day and have a passion like that you fucking die for. Yeah, yeah. It usually starts from the childhood, yeah, yo. Facts. Exactly. So especially music specifically. Yeah, music. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then um, so like all my like my best friends like were always telling me that like, bro you're singing around us all the time like in the car while we're chilling whatever. And they're like, yo, um, why don't you just post it? Because Raman was already, like, posting it on, like, social media at this time. Yeah. Um, they're like, yo, why don't you just post it? Like, people are going to love it for sure. And, like, I knew that I had, like, like tone and stuff. Like, I could sing. Like, I could hit notes and, like, it sounded nice. Yeah. But I never thought, like, it was anything, like, special enough to, like, for people to hear it and be like, yo, what the fuck is going on? You know what I mean? Like, who yeah. is this person? And did you have like a this is, wait, wait this is like squeaky voice Justin? No 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 this is, this is not Justin Bieber like okay, okay. coming up through the years no 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 I was like, Yo, it was like it me. wasn't it obviously wasn't sounding how it is now yeah because like bro like, like it's reps right like you yeah. take shots in the gym like you're gonna get better it doesn't matter how many times right yeah um but but I, like I would just go into my like like we have like a studio like a, it's a studio now like I made it into a studio but it's, it was like an office room. I would just go in there and play my keyboard, my piano, and just sing random songs because yeah. I just knew how to do it, right? Yeah. Um, You're just having fun with it, right? Like, exactly. I was yeah. just doing what I do every day, right? Wait, you learn how to, you know how to play piano and shit? Uh, yeah. Damn. <laughs> Damn. Wait, what did you learn that? Uh, so I got it for, um, I got it for a uh, grade seven band actually. <laughs> oh. Because yo, shit. like they give you a sheet of the instruments you can play. Yeah. And like it was all like like. Like freaking beeping it, bro. Like I was like, yo, I'm not trying to play a clarinet. Trumpet. I played yeah, the clarinet. Exactly. I played the clarinet. Yeah. Great it was all that type of shit, right? Like everything was that. Yeah. And like yeah. there was like like if there's like 40 kids in the band, bro, 10 were playing clarinet, 10 are on flute, one's nice. on saxophone. The gura yeah. always knew how to do his <laughs> thing. Gura, you know? have an afro, bro. Have an yeah. Afro. yeah, long hair, so, bro. Blonde, blonde. But yeah, but for yeah. some reason they were always good at that shit. Yeah, bro. I don't know why. It was like the blood, bro. You know, right? <laughs> Right, like ball, right when they get home, bro, they throw their bag and there's a. You're just going like, crazy, bro. Seducing the high. women and um, shit, yo. Yeah? Oh, hell, yeah. Whoa. <laughs> exactly. Whoa. That was that guy, bro. Um, that's what you call Riz, dog. It's a sad yeah, That's real. Bro, that that's real, dude. Um, like, yeah, straight that. Time. But yeah, so then I told, uh, like, I literally told my band teacher, I was like, yo, if I'm going to be in this, I'm going to play something that I want to play. Yeah. I buy it on my own, but like, you just got to give me the sheet music and teach me how to read it, and then I can play the notes, right? Yeah. And, like, piano is not that, like, like if, if you have any sort of sense of, like, you know what I mean? Like, an ear. Yeah. It's not the most difficult thing to pick up. Yeah. You just got to give it some time, just like anything, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, so, I got it for band, and then I would just be all the way in the back, just, like, playing, like, one notes and stuff. And then, when I would go home, I would just teach myself how to play, like, songs. Mm-hmm. Uh, essentially, what I did is I would go on YouTube and search up, like, what the song name. Uh, piano chords, easy. That's what, exactly oh. what I would search up. <laughs> yeah. And then, it would be, like... Songs that are like two, three notes or four notes, but like chords though. Like it wasn't okay. like one note, it's like you know, finger pegging. It was yeah. like very um and then what I did I was I like taught myself like ten to fifteen songs. Um just the same way, like easy. Yeah. And then once the chords started overlapping, then what I started doing is when I would hear a song that I want to play, I would try to find it myself. Wait, like, what do you mean? Wait, what do you like, mean? Like so like if I'm playing chords for like let's say I play like 10 different songs. Yeah, yeah. All of them have like different chords on the piano. Yeah, yeah. Once I realized that like, oh, this first song that I played and the ninth song had this one G chord, for example, oh, like, like oh, overlapping. Okay, okay. Then I knew, I kind of knew what they sound like, right? Oh, okay, I got, it, I got it. So then I would like, I find a new song, like a new song comes out and I want to play it, right? Yeah. Then I would just go to my piano and instead of searching it up on YouTube, I would just find it myself, like play those chords and see where it sounds right. Yeah. And then... Once I could play the music, then I would just, you know, start singing with it. That so basically, sense. you got like a that year. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. yeah, it's like a year. Okay, and that's yeah. like, it's the same thing with like now how like I produce all my stuff too. It's like, yeah. like some people can like do like the recording aspect of it, but they don't have it enough to like, either they don't have the passion or they don't have the ear enough to like be able to tell like what's right from wrong in the production aspect yeah, of it. You know, yeah. you can hear it when you're done. Yeah. Now, having um, an ear for it definitely makes a big difference. Like yeah. knowing the keys, and yeah, shit like, that. like, like naturally, oh. where you're yeah. able to build it in naturally. Yeah, exactly, yeah. I don't and know. I, it's funny because like people like study like music theory and all that kind of stuff, bro. I don't know shit. Yeah. Like, I'll be honest, I have like I don't know anything about that. That's yeah. so funny because like I'm like <laughs> I'm like bro, I'm like trying to learn how to produce. But, like I'm really really beginner. Yeah, like, I know nothing, right? Yeah, yeah, and I'm yeah. like, do I need to learn music theory or not? Bro, like, I'm telling that's, you, like, one thing I was wondering. Oh, if you have the ear, yeah, then you don't need that stuff. That yeah. stuff is like. Like, it'll get into specifics and technicals that, like, from from my experience, like, 
I kind of started to pick those up as I learned anyways. Yeah. Because once you get to a certain point, like now I make music every single day because mm-hmm. I produce my own shit. I record myself. Like I'm not waiting on anybody else. Right. Yeah. And I write my everything. Myself. I don't even write it. I kind of like, I call it perfected freestyling. Cause like I just make the beat and then oh, yeah. I just like, I just go. So, yeah. you, so, like, what? so you just why are you making a beat? Yeah. But you're like, no, not even right, bro. Right, like right, I literally right. like, like, Fam, I don't even know how to tell you. Like before I record a line, I could not tell you that that's the line I was gonna say. It just happens. Naturally, off the top, it just happens. That's fucked. Like there is some higher power out there that's like helping me out and guiding me. Because like that's pretty crazy. Like just the other day, like I was on, um, like I'm just gonna say Harpreet and Nish are my two best friends. Just because if I do say any stories, it's only gonna be those two. Mm -hmm. Um, and then Ramen, right? But like I was just uh, just before I came to Syria again, um. I was on FaceTime with Harpy and I was making a song. I just finished a beat. It's actually, it's coming out on the 24th, that one. Um, it's called Say La Vie. This one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, nice. Um, so I was, I was making that song and I said the first line of the song and I just stopped and I kept recording and he was just sitting there and he's like, he's like, yo, how are you going to, just do what you just did and then move on to the next line like you did. The line is pretty <laughs> nasty. I'm not going to lie. Yeah. But like, What's the line? What's the line? Um, it's kind of it's 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 harder in the context of the song. Okay, but like um, I walked in. There's a couple dudes. Nah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that was nah, a hard uh, line, uh, literally, bro. Now the line goes. Uh, hard line. Eh? Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's when you said. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's your job, right? You guys do that. Um, that jokes. But uh, the line goes. Um, uh, it was like the song is basically about like. Um, the hook is like a uh, favorite. You say I'm your favorite, but baby, you should save it. Cause anything you say to me is say la vie. Like, I'm just going to say it back to you. Like oh. so, such is life, you know? Yeah, yeah. Um, so it's basically about like, like the song essentially is about like how like you go through your experiences, but like you get to a point where you're kind of just like, yo, like, I don't, like, you know, I don't really care about anyone. Like I'm yeah, good. You yeah. know what I mean? And then, the first line is I'm not a faker, but even Cupid's got one in the chamber. So what what I mean So what I mean by that is like Cupid is like the symbol of love, right? Yeah. So he's you would think of him as like the softest, nicest guy. Yeah. But the point of the line is like I'm not a faker as in I'm not saying that I'm out here doing some shit like shooting people or whatever, but even Cupid's got one in the chamber means that you put the nicest guys like in the fuck situations, you do yeah. them dirty enough times and they can become bad guys too. You know what yeah, I mean? Like, and that's how the line, that's how I started it. So I heard that line on the like, like preview TikTok on thing, I was yeah. like, yo, that's just a banger line. <laughs> Thank you, bro. And um, Harpy was like, he's like, bro, you don't, I need you to understand that if I thought about that, like if I sat for a whole day and that's all I came up with, I would go to like the local newspaper and tell them to put me on the front page. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> right? And, and, and then he's like, and you just do this and go on to the next one. Like, yeah. like, um, it's because you've been doing it so much. Yeah, bro. Yeah. It's like, but like, but I'd be lying if I said that from obviously like like I said shots in the gym right like the more times you step behind a mic you just get better and better yeah. but I'd be lying if I said like off my first song I didn't have the potential if I listen back to it now mm. I'll probably like dude, I'll probably tear up cringing so hard that's how fucking like you know what I mean because you grow yeah. so much right yeah, especially when you do it often you grow so quickly yeah, same thing with the pod first episode oh hell though <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah exactly yeah. exactly yeah. Like, yo, what the fuck are we doing anything. we don't even know what the hell we were doing yeah, yeah, like, we were like looking at each other for like cues and shit like bro yeah. like, that's how that's how it goes though yeah, that's, yeah, for, that's, that's why it. for anyone listening bro if you think you want to do something you can't you're not going to be the perfect Yo, uh, first time we were just like, having this conversation before we even started like the pod like yeah. if you don't start it like if you don't even try it at first how will yeah. you know if you're gonna, like, like you just gotta have like like i said yeah before the pod i said yeah. you just you can't have like don't live in an l- illusion like if it's not there then you got to be able to because re- there are people out there who have they're passionate about something mm-hmm. but not everyone can turn their passion into a like a you know what I mean? Like a job, a career. <laughs> <laughs> Matt was holding his finger over it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's like, not to say that like, you know, you shouldn't try because bro, yeah. like, you, never like know. you can't get there until like, don't let me or us two or anyone like, tell you that you can't do it. You know what I yeah, mean? 100%. But, essentially like, there are people out there that like, try things and like, it might not be for you, you know? But like, on the on the other hand, like if you don't actually go balls to the wall, you'll never be able to get better at it. You know what I nice. mean? So it's like, you can't, like, even like Drake, bro. Like I, like he's my idol. He's my number one guy, okay. bro. The like, question of who's your, who's yeah. Your so, I'll, so we'll come back to that later. But yeah. even he says, like, like even in interviews, he said, like, I listen back and it kind of sounds like someone's doing a bad impersonation impersonation of me, mm-hmm. like on his earlier songs. Yeah, and cool. these are songs like headlines, the model. Like he's talking about that time. Yeah, Damn. but that just because you yeah. know what I mean, just because it's so far ahead now, yeah. like it's literally like ten years from that point. Yeah, you know what I mean, like you grow up always. 
Um, but there's beauty even in the beginning. Yeah, you know exactly. Like for example, like he doesn't. He thinks he sounds like a goof yeah. for the headlines. Well, we but love like, it. Everyone else, we love exactly. it. Exactly. You know like? And that's the thing too. I've said to Roman so many times. I'm like, bro, like, like I had this EP in 2020. It was called See You Soon. Yeah. And like I still tell Roman, I'm like, bro, like I sometimes do. Feel, like I feel like I want to take that off Spotify and Apple Music and stuff. Yeah. Because like, bro, it's so different than what I make now. Yeah. But he was like, bro, you gotta understand that like, you deleting that EP like. The first song that EP could be ten people's favorite song. Yeah, that's fine. Right? Yeah, you don't. You and when he said it like that, I was like, "Damn!" Like, I don't know what I'm taking away from someone. I'm just being selfish because I'm like, I don't want to hear myself like that, and I don't yeah. want new people yeah. to hear me like that. Yeah. But like, at the end of the day, like, it's you got to take yourself out of the situation, right? We're always yeah. going to be our own like biggest critics. Yeah. yeah. Like, like these people that ha- are have made it, they probably look back and be like, "What the fuck was I doing?" Mm-hmm. But like, we love it, right? So it's like. But yeah, but yeah, so like, it's just shit like that. And then essentially back to like the, how'd I get into it? Like that, I remember that specific, there was this one specific day. It was like in June or July. Um, I was at like, I was at the Gurdwara. We were doing like Seva for one of our boys' bars. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And <clears throat> so when we were, like when we finished, we were all just in the parking lot. We were about to leave. Yeah. And these guys are like, just paging me how they normally do like bro post it post it post it you need to do this stuff Wait, you know? what is it a cover or uh like they were yeah they were just saying but post a cover like okay. just you sing all the time anyway just yeah. sing anything and post it yeah right like what's the worst that can happen yeah and but like at the same time like keep in mind this is before tiktok times where everybody had the balls to post themselves yeah. Yeah. now yeah. everybody is recording like videos of themselves back, back, like, doing the noggin dance and just posting yeah. yeah. like, right? you, know, you know you come across one of those videos that has like five likes and like 30 views yeah. some random guy doing some yeah random shit. exactly like, you know? like i remember to... back in like 2019 when tiktok was first i was like yo fuck no what the fuck is this yeah, yeah. Some yeah. Shit like yeah. that but yeah. then yeah. at the <laughs> at the same time yeah. that same video that's getting like 30 views and five likes yeah somebody else could do that and they're getting like 30,000 likes. Yeah. So it's the weirdest thing ever, you know? Yeah. Um, That's fact. It is a, it's so weird how that works. Bro, and yeah. it's, it's funny because like, obviously like I'm, like I said, I'm trying to be the greatest ever. So like, yeah. I'm looking for ways to get myself like out there. And bro, like, especially with TikTok, I've realized like with Instagram, for example, when we're yeah. posting a picture and stuff, like we know when the prime times more yeah. or less are, right? Yeah. In the evening when they are chilling at home, like not doing anything, not at work, whatever, yeah. right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. <clears throat> bro tiktok there's no time like you look oh, yeah, at like random. like it's yeah. the, bro you can try as hard as you want and yeah. nothing will go for you and you post the randomest thing and it'll just start going yeah bro. yeah um and even sometimes when you post shit and like it really doesn't pick up until like a couple days after yeah yeah which is weird know, too. Lot, but recently one of my like month and a half ago videos it's like at 50k views now it was like a month yeah. and a half ago and that's just it's so bro, weird it's, it's funny because like as soon as you don't see like like 20,000 views like within the first day you're just like yeah. alright we'll move on to the next one yeah, yeah but then you like wake up and shit just starts going yeah. I, I've one thing I have noticed with my thing is like um, <clears throat> that like even if throughout like the next few days it's going slow but people keep saving it and commenting it mm. will pick up again yeah that's what I've noticed like on like and there are obviously things that the algorithm loves yeah right like yeah. Like, even with the ramen, like, the parent thing. Yeah, yeah People bro. eat that shit up. Bro. Yeah, bro. Like, I think people stick around and watch the whole thing. Yeah. That's what, with those yeah. Videos, like, cool, and, yeah. like, another thing is, like, putting a caption, like, at the front of the thing. Yeah. yeah. Like, like to keep them interested. Like, like big blocks. Like, yo, this is... Like, for me, like, whenever I come back to Surrey, I surprise my parents. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, like, so bro, people eat that shit up, bro. <laughs> and I, I'm, like... And it's, like... It has, it's, like, that story element. It's yeah. It's, like, a start and there's a finish. Exactly. That's because... Right. And, bro, yeah. like, you already know, like, some of these videos you watch them, oh, dying is fine. Even me and Roman were talking about it. Like, the last... I posted a surprise with my mom, like, a few days whenever I got back, like, yeah. last week. And I showed him the video when it was done, like, without anything. And he was, like, yo, that's, like, that's fire. And then you put these, like, sad-ass songs in the <laughs> yo. Background, Bro, it's, like, ding, ding, bro, ding, ding, ding. And, flags. bro, like, so all true. of a sudden, Raman's, like, bro, why am I feeling something watching this video, you know? Um, <laughs> just background music, bro. But, yeah, yeah, like, it's just it's just weird. But there's even, like, things on, like, um, the internet where, like, these are the times to post it if yeah. you want, like, shit to, like, you know what I mean? Like, it'll yeah, push yeah. the algorithm or whatever. I don't even know if that shit's true, This bro. is fucking right. I've TikTok's tried random, it, and a couple times so it random. has worked for me, but, yeah. like, there's been a couple times where I haven't either. Because, bro, like, the one that I saw was Eastern Times, right? Yeah. So, it's like, um, it's like Monday and two, like, one of the days was like, bro, it was like 2 a.m., 5 a.m., and uh, 8 a.m., like, it was the Times. 
Yeah. Right? And it's Eastern time, so it's three yeah. hours behind for us. Yeah. I'm like, bro, you want me to take the get out of my eyes at 4 a.m.? <laughs> yeah. Post like, TikTok and pass out again, you know? Take the get out of my eyes. Bro, <laughs> it's like, jokes. you know what I mean? I like, it's like, so it's like, I just kind of go with whatever works. But yeah. Sorry, what? Do you ever let the numbers discourage you, though? Yo, that's the biggest Never, thing, bro. Yeah. It, the thing is, is that, like, I feel like. If you know what you have to offer, it'll never change your mind. 100%, 100%. I was just talking to Harpy about this yesterday before we were like hanging out. And um, because he hasn't heard Say La Vie like the full thing in person. Yeah. Um, so I showed him yesterday because there's only like like two or three people max that ever hear my shit before it comes out. Yeah. yeah. Because like, bro, Bundy will take the juice out of you and like suck that shit out of you and just. Yeah, bro. Like, Pulse, like yeah. if you show, <laughs> yo, yo, yo. But like, <laughs> bro, you said suck the juice out of you. I didn't say something, bro. I was like, you're wild, bro. I, you know, no, that's, I agree. I agree. Nah, your juice. mind is crazy. <laughs> this guy's mind, mind is insane, bro. bro he gets, he's creative. Every bro, I don't know if you call that creative. Yo, that's, okay, that's different of creativity. This guy's doing. This guy's doing some creative shit after hours, bro. Um <laughs> Painting, but <laughs> nah, bro. but but like, bro, bro like you, you meant by that, dude. It's bro. like, yo, bro. like you, you tell someone something like that you're so passionate about, yeah. And if they don't give you that energy, bro, you're just like, yo, maybe it's not that good. Maybe mm-hmm. it's not. Maybe I'm tripping. Yeah, you, know, you start second guessing yourself. Yeah, it could be anything. Like you could show them a clip of a podcast, be like, yo, how funny is this? And they're yeah. like, yeah, bro, it's jokes. Yeah, shit, I don't showing. really like. I don't really yeah, like showing. Exactly, shit before, I don't like, at all, bro. Yeah. And like Ramen, Harpri, and Nish, and like. Those are probably like the only people that ever hear my shit before it comes out. If yeah. them. Yeah. Sometimes I'll tell, like, bro, I have like 400 songs made and like Raman hasn't heard like 90% of them. You have 400 yeah. songs in the vault? Yeah, like I'd probably say like oh, around no. like, I'd probably say like around like 250 to 270-ish are like completely done. Okay. And like the other ones are like one verse with a hook or like okay. something like that I ju- I'll just come back to. and Still like a yeah. lot though. How many, are, how many are just fucking heaters? How many of them? <laughs> Well, if you ask me, like... I'm All like, 275. Nah, <laughs> like, I'll say it like this, like, early days, like, it was kind of like, sometimes I'd make one and I'd be like, holy shit, this is crazy. Yeah. Sometimes I made one, like, even um, just on, uh, what day, like, Friday, I just dropped Ballad of the Broken. Bro, that song's heat. Appreciate you. I, like, I was, I was waiting till like, I get a chance to yeah, say that. Yeah, You've yeah. been dropping so consistently yeah, uh, yeah, since yeah. 2023 started. I was yeah. bringing that up. I'm like, yo... I love that, and yeah. I was gonna ask you. You continue with what you're yeah, saying. We can come back to it. Later. Yeah, yeah, we can yeah. come back to it. Um, but yo, Bald is fucking Thank fire. Thank you, bro. Um, and uh, bro, I made that song almost two years ago, Damn. and it was never what? gonna come Holy. out. And it was never gonna come out. Take yeah. that in, like, and um, and I've been going like live on like TikTok quite pretty like often recently. Yeah. Um, because that shit helps with the exposure a lot. Yeah, and, and builds a connection and, with the yeah, and like builds a community. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So so I started this thing. It was funny because like the way it happened too is that like I told um so last October I dropped a song mm. and um literally the day before it was coming out, Drake and Twenty One announced that they're dropping her loss. Oh yeah. So um do I dropped it and like I remember like according to like what I normally have people listening, like it, Barely anybody was listening to it, you know? Yeah. And I remember that night, bro, I was so angry. Yeah. I was I was like to Raman, like I was like texting him. I was like, bro, like I'm trying to watch what I say because like I'm not gonna say how I said it because you're yeah. gonna do some pause shit. Yeah, no, 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 but like no, whoa, 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 I was ahead. literally like, bro, like if people don't wanna listen, like I'm just gonna keep shoving in there, like I'm just gonna keep <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> His face, yeah, bro. Like you bro. I'm just gonna keep throwing the music at them until yeah. they have no choice but to listen to it. You know yeah. what I mean? The guy started smiling at me. I knew, crazy, I knew it was gonna happen, bro. Dude. Shove it, bro. I don't know. You just, your word choice is interesting, bro. I never said shove it. Shove in, sucking the juice bro. out. Like it's not my fault, bro. I can't, it's not me. Bro, you gotta it's stop not me. It's this you, man. You're crazy, bro. yo. The crazy. fact that he just picks up on it right it's away. Crazy. It's I have crazy. to be careful what I say because yeah. this guy's gonna take it the you wrong twist way. Twist your words, turn into something else. Like you think I'm the first human who's ever said shit like that <laughs> uh, on podcast? Right here. <laughs> on, <laughs> Yo, nah, bro. <laughs> but yo, oh um, but yeah, I just told him I was like, bro, like, like you just—it's just the consistency factor, right? I was like, bro, I'm just gonna keep like, like they're not gonna have any choice but to hear what I have to put yeah, out, right? Because yeah. eventually, think, if they see it, it enough, they'll be like, okay, let me listen. Yeah, like, well, that's the first yeah. time, exactly. Because like, oh, okay. one time they'll be like, okay, cool, they'll like the post, move on. That's yeah. another thing. I'm like, bro, like, why are you liking my shit if you're not gonna actually go? Like, listen the link is right yeah. there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I'm not even like. I'm not even asking you to like 
go to your Spotify, search up Justin, and then play it. Like, yeah. but the link is right there. Just click it. Click the service That's that fucks. you listen to it on. Just click bro, the link, like, guys. Come yeah. on. Just it click is, the no, fucking like, link. It is what it is, though. Like, yeah. I, I wouldn't even ask him to click the link because, yo, like, they're missing out, bro. Like, yeah. eventually, everyone will come around. Yeah, yeah no, and you're then, gonna have that mentality, right? Yeah. Bro, like, when you're putting out like actual good shit. And, like, you have people around you, like, a solid core that will, like, tell you, like, 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 even, like, Harper, you always, and Nish always say, too, they're like, bro, like, we're waiting on the day where we can tell you, like, yo, this might not be, maybe try a different approach, maybe this, maybe that. Yeah, yeah. Because they're like, firstly, we know that you're never going to, like, that's never going to happen because yeah. if it didn't happen in early days, how would it happen now? Yeah. yeah. Right? <clears throat> but they're like, we also know how harsh you on our, uh, are on yourself. Right? Yeah. Like, if I feel like something's not a hundred percent, I literally won't even take it to them. You yeah. know what I mean? Do you think if like if you're like really being harsh on yourself, it could take away sometimes, or is oh, it like it makes you even bro, better? I'm the worst with that. Yeah, yeah like I, ha- I've like recently had to like teach myself to like and like to, back to the battle of the broken thing. That's actually one of the examples is that oh, yeah. I made that song almost two years ago now. Yeah. Um, and like it was like a group of like three summer songs that I made like in like like July or June or May or something like two years ago. Or almost two years ago. And um, <clears throat> um, I just randomly played it on my TikTok live, yo. Yeah. Like, with zero, like I literally started. This is how I actually started it, too. I was like, yo, I'm just going to play some unreleased shit because I have so much of it. Like, none of this is probably ever coming out. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Right? Bro, I play this song. And, yo, people are, like, boycotting me. They're like, bro, I'm actually going to stop listening to your shit if you don't put this song out. <laughs> like, yeah. you're stupid if no, you think that this is It's a banger song. Not. I can't believe you held that shit for two years. Thanks, bro. That's, yeah. that's, I'm glad you're dropping this now because that's a problem yeah, that a lot yeah. of artists have, yo. They, like, make shit and then they don't like it because they listen to it exactly. too much. Yeah. Or like that. And it's yeah. like, at the end of the day, bro, who the hell do we think we are holding on to shit? Yeah. Like, bro, nobody, <laughs> like, bro, if we want to get to where we want to get to, we have to drop this shit. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Like, and it's like, like, either drop all the things you're making or make it at a higher rate so that you can filter out what you're making and what yeah, you don't want to release. Yeah, yeah. Right. So that like, you'll still be at that consistency. Yeah. And then, yeah. So I told, um, Raman that I'm just going to once I, and then October onwards, like I was already making music every day, but bro, I was like cutting. Like, I remember like literally the next day I sent Raman two songs. Like mm-hmm. after that night where I told him I came back from work, I got home from work. I like, 8 p.m. Yeah. And I made like two songs in that night and I sent them to Raman the next day. Yeah. Because I was like, just like pissed I off. was just, bro, I was pissed off. Bro. <laughs> Did Raman put lie. it on his story when her loss came out? He put, I think he put your song yeah. on it too. Yeah, he's yeah, like, yeah. He's like, like her, don't listen to her loss. Yeah, yeah. He, <laughs> said some, he said something like yeah, that. I you remember. know what the realest thing is that. too though? Like, and, and I never asked these guys to do any of these things. Yeah. Harpre, Nish, or Raman, like, they, they didn't, listen they didn't even listen to her lost the night that it came I out. Think I, I think right. either Raman told us this yeah. on the pod or it was on his story or something. And bro, no, I it think was, he told us like, just, I think, like we're yeah. chilling. Or maybe when we were chilling. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. I think we were downstairs. Yeah. Maybe yeah. it was that day. Yeah. And yo, like I didn't even, I've never said and like the only expectation I do have and that's even that's unspoken. Yeah. It's like, yo, when my song comes out at 12 or nine, whatever time it is for who, wherever you are, listen to it. Yeah. Listen to that first. Yeah. Right. And then go do whatever you got to do. Right. Like, cause I never tell my boys like, yo, you got to play my song, go yeah. to sleep yeah. with it on play. Yeah. None of that. I always want it to be organic yeah. because <clears throat> I know what I'm dropping. I'm yeah. confident enough in my abilities and yeah. like, like the work that I'm putting in yeah. where like eventually everyone will come around and mm-hmm. they'll be like, yo, like, like people will... Like, you know how we, we discover artists and then we'll go back and be like, bro, this guy's been making heat. Right? Yeah, like, it's the same yeah. thing. It's yeah. just like, um, yeah, if, that, you yeah. Like a, if you have like a discography of like good music, yeah. and you see one, and boom. You're exactly. And, and I think it's the same thing with like content creation and shit too. I was saying that to this guy. I'm like, yo, like you're dropping your content on TikTok is sick right now. So like when yeah. that one video blows, yeah. it's like people go through yeah. your TikTok and they see more good bro, shit. Like right? you get, I feel like I should have more followers. You feel like yeah, you should have more Yeah, 100%. Right? You know what I'm saying? You should, bro. Yeah, your yeah. shit's hilarious, bro. Like And like, even like, um... Bro, like it's just like it'll it'll, it'll all in due time. Yeah, 100%. true colors always come out. Hundred percent, right? 100%. Like the true, like the shit that's real <laughs> prevails, and the rest will always like filter itself out on yeah, its own. That's facts. You I, know, that's a good way to put it. Yo. Yeah, because bro, like we just live in a time, bro, where like everything's so saturated. Like, yeah, yeah so everything much, is so saturated. Bro, there's so much of everything. Yeah, yeah. like there's like. How hard is it, bro? We could sit here for three straight days to think of a brand new idea that no yeah. one's ever seen. And then, you know what I mean? Well, Whereas, it, like, yeah. so it's like, bro, but like... That's the biggest thing, yo. Right? Like, that's huge. Because, like, when it was Drake's time, like, it wasn't that saturated. Yeah. Was, like, yeah. And plus, there was a different sound coming at that time, I, I feel like. 
You know what I'm saying? Yeah, everything grows with time, yeah, bro. Yeah. My dog was like promoting on my space, bro. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like what? Yeah. You know? And like like bro, this guy literally says in songs like like um I think it was a uh, um uh, look what you've done It was a song about his mom Bro he's literally talking about How like um, Like his mom And him used to like Bubble wrap CDs And go hand them out to people bro Think yeah. about that That's yeah. crazy It was fucking Drake That's yeah. crazy You know what I mean and that was a, Yeah So then it brings me time. back To my point of like Yo who the fuck do we think we are Yeah, yeah. Right like yo Like if Bundy like that Like and still yo Like they do their thing Like they make music videos They're like Bro like I remember when Certified Lover Boy was coming out this guy's boys were on roads, like, handing out shirts. Remember when he was doing, like, that? I don't know if you guys saw but, like, in Toronto, there was, like, billboards that would yeah, say, like, yeah. different phrases. Yeah, 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 yeah. Was it just in Toronto? It was, like, Chicago. Uh, yeah, he did it all obviously. over the place, yeah. but, like, it was yeah. mainly in Toronto. Like, yeah. But, yeah, there were a bunch. Yeah. Um, It was actually sick because that thing where he did where it was, like, all over, it was more so, like, any artist that was featured on the album yeah. in yeah, their so hometown, he, oh, he would put dope. it. So it would be like, um, I remember this. Yeah, um, yeah, he would be like, uh, he'd be, he'd be like, it would say something like, "What's up, world?" Like this person is on CLB. Oh, and, like that's all okay, it would yeah. say, right? Yeah. But like, yeah, like the sh- like the phrases would be something like, I remember this one that like really stuck with me too. He's like, "I don't miss, let alone miss you." And I was like, "Yo, that shit, like, bro." <laughs> yeah, I was like, "That's fucking crazy." But like, yeah. bro, so they they went on live and they're like, "Yo, we're making these T-shirts." They have these like these phrases that were on the billboards. They were putting yeah. them on, yeah. and um, they weren't gonna sell. They weren't gonna sell them. They were just giving oh, them out. That was dope. right. So, bro, they were on rolls in Toronto downtown, like on live, dropping the location. Yo, come here. We're handing out shirts. Pull up to a corner, just throw shirts out. Move to the next location. Yeah. Like he doesn't have crazy to do that, marketing. Bro, right? they don't have to do that. Yeah, and yeah. then Drake would come into the live. He's at home doing some shit. He would come into the live to get more people in it. Yeah. He's gonna be like, yo, make sure you guys reach back to the crib and like pick up more shirts and go again. You know, yeah. and like. Like, bro, shout out to his boys for doing this yeah, shit, too. You know crazy. what I mean? Like, having yeah. a core group, bro, is yeah. the most important thing, bro. Yeah. Having a team, 100%, like, 100%. doesn't matter how much you say, like, like you're doing it on your own, bro, nothing is by yourself. Yeah. No, like, it's not. The ex- yeah, even, the ex- so even the experiences and the, like, growing up in the places you do and the people you meet, everyone has a part to play, bro. 100%. Like, as minuscule as it may be or as grave as it may be, it's always, like... You naturally learn from others, like conversations, through conversation, through experiences and yeah, stuff like that. Yeah, like, yeah, think yeah. about if you were just in a life where it's just you and the world. You wouldn't like you wouldn't be you Bro, wouldn't be able to like develop anything. Yeah, you know? so, it's like what where do you learn from? Yeah, right? exactly. Like, yeah. Um, but I was wondering, um, uh, so we were talking about you have four hundred songs in the vault. Yeah, how many songs? Like, I was gonna I'm gonna ask you what it, what's a day to day life. You know what's funny? I just realized I didn't even finish like the story of like how I started. Yeah, we, yeah we, <laughs> like we, it we, just, we, but yo, I the feel combo, like bro. yeah, that's yeah. what I was gonna say. It's hard Always. to like, um, yeah. stick but you want me to finish thing. that first, or you want yeah, to you finish that? Finish so it. essentially, I'll I'll do it like a quicker form. Essentially, what happened is like this, like they kept nagging me, like they kept paging me for like months and months, post, post, post. Okay, this day that I came back from the the bot, I went to the gurdwa. I mean, I went to the gym after, came back. Then I was just sitting there doing what I do every day, playing the piano, singing my songs, right. Yeah. And I remember that day I was singing. It's a song called "Best Part" by Daniel Caesar. That's the first cover I ever did. Okay. Um, and I was just sitting there, and bro, like in high school, the funniest thing is, dude, like I like now that I'm doing music, like I always knew this was my calling. You know, like yeah. bro, take in that in high school from grade all of grade eleven and all of grade twelve. What I would do is like when my parents would go upstairs to sleep. My dad works, wakes up for work around like 4-ish a.m. Sometimes a little earlier, sometimes a little later, right? Yeah. What I would do, bro, is like, bro, I was so in love with music that I would go down into like my theater room at night and like <clears throat> sit there and like, um, and, or it wasn't even like, I would just go into my room or whatever and like yeah. sit there at like from 11 p.m. to like 4 a.m., bro, every single night. I would watch like, like live performances, people on stage. Bro. Like, bro, I would just sit there getting goosebumps over and over. For, bro, I'm talking yeah. about like a whole two years. And take in the only way that I would even know what time it is is because I hear my dad walking down like or coming out of his room type shit. Or like yeah. I hear his bed creaking because it's about to get up. Yeah. And then I would snap myself out and be like, bro, it's 4 a.m. Go to bed. Yeah. And I have yeah. school the next day. We used to wake up at what? Like fucking for high school, like 7.30, right? Yeah, <laughs> like some yeah, shit yeah. like that. That's passion, bro. Honestly. Bro, That's and passion. it was always there. Yeah. And yeah. like... Um, 
So, uh, so yeah, so it's, I just used to do stuff. And then, and then when I, that day I, I like would I told myself, I'm like, bro, like the right moment isn't going to come. You yeah, got to yeah. take that shit. Like you got to make it happen. Yo, like, starting 100%. anything, starting anything will never be like, people just always think to themselves like, yo, like I'm just waiting for that moment where I feel like this is when I need to do it. Yeah. Like bro, yeah. no, bro. And the funniest thing yeah, is bro, people so- think that part comes after, but like, yeah. But I mean that come part comes before where you feel like I need to do it yeah. and then you do it. It should come. Or you do it and then you feel like fuck. That's when I was supposed yeah, to do facts. it. Yeah. You know, that's, facts, that's what I was yeah. bro. It's facts, crazy yeah. and it's like this fucking like breath of fr- bro. And then that day, I was like, yo, you know what? Like I need to do this. What's the worst? Because bro, like I said, this was before anybody was posting videos on themselves. When someone was on the internet, it was a big fucking deal, bro. You yeah. were the talk of the town for the next two weeks. Yeah, right. Yeah. That sucks. And. And so I was like, bro, what's the worst people will say? I'll post it on my Instagram story. It'll go away after 24 hours where it comes to worst. Um, and I was already out of high school anyway. So I'm like, yo, even if someone does have some shit to talk, I'm not yeah. even going to hear about it. Yeah. yeah. Right. And I'm like, it'll fizzle out. Someone will do some next dumb shit that I'll take over. And then it'll be, you know, like just something That's to look back is, on. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Um, and what, what, so then what, how'd it go like when you yeah so it? then so then i i i was i just hopped in the shower i was like yo fuck you like just just do it i come out i sit down on my piano i do what i do every single day yeah except now there's a camera sitting in front of me yeah. right bro it was literally my first take i recorded it because i do this shit every day right yeah i recorded it i looked back at it i sent it to Raman. i was like yo i think i'm gonna just fucking do it bro because he was telling me too for a bit right yeah did Roman post at this time? or? Oh, yeah. Roman was posting for, like, I think, like, a couple years already. Okay. Um, so, people oh, kind of knew what was going on, you know? Yeah. 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 Um, so, I, uh, bro, I, I posted on my story. Bro, the pit that I had in my stomach, bro, I can't even tell you. Like, yeah. Like, bro, yeah. this is, like, imagine, like, grade six, you got to perform in front of the class. Yo, bro. <laughs> yeah, okay, I got bro, you. Bro, Bundy were sweating. School presentation. Every, yeah. <laughs> Yo. It was fucked, bro. Yeah. Talking in front and of the class. I literally remember, like, I posted it. I walk into, because I was supposed to link my boys to hang out. Yeah. I throw my phone on my bed. I'm like, yo, I'm not looking at it until I get there. Yeah. Because it was only 10 minutes away. Um, Bro, I pick up my phone, put it in my pocket, sit in the car. Bro, I'm so anxious, bro. I felt like I could, I could yak, bro. Like, it's <laughs> crazy. Oh, yeah. Putting yourself out, bro. It's, it's not even sound. like, I'm just like, like, bro, but they weren't even posting selfies. Yeah, <laughs> bro, then, like, like, it was different. You know? Different. And then, different, yeah. bro, and it doesn't, it's not that long ago, but shit changed quickly. Yeah. yeah. Um, And bro, I got there and I pulled out my phone, bro. I had like 50 or 60 DMs. People were just losing it, bro. They're like, yo, how long have you been able to do, like, there was not a single bad thing, bro. Everybody was tripping. Yeah. And bro, I remember when I saw that response, I like I literally it literally felt like I was like underwater for so long and I finally came up for like a breath of fresh air, you know? Because yeah. in that crazy. in That's that moment, moment yeah. Cause I've had my own business for so long too. I was like cutting at home, I had my own shop or whatever, right? Yeah. And like I always told myself that like, yo, I'm just gonna like open up like two or three shops. Cause like, bro, barbers like they're doing well now. Yeah, you know what I mean? Hundred percent. So I was like, yo, that's what I'm gonna do from with my life. Like, and I, although I don't like love it, how I lo- like anywhere near how I love music. Yeah, I like cutting hair a lot. It's 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 you know what I mean. Like it yeah. like about the money, you can't complain. It's like you're just chilling with boys, yeah, just yeah, having conversation, yeah, yeah, yeah. doing your it's thing. It's kind of like this. Mean? You're just having conversation, exactly. right? Yeah, Music's yeah. playing, you're talking about random shit and like, bro, like yeah. these people come to you for therapy, dog. Like, you know yeah, what I mean? It's a good, 100%, it's a sick yeah. gig, bro. Like, 100%. in my opinion. Like, like, next to, like, tattooing is probably one of the best services that you could, like, do, bro. Yeah, it's so it's chill in yeah. every way. And, for like, sure. what you're doing for what you get paid to, like, it's it's amazing. You know I, got I, mean? a, I got a question. Um, it's related to what you're talking about. Yeah. When you're cutting and, like, they're, they're, it's like a therapy session and yeah. people give you their experience. Yeah. Have you ever, like, used somebody else's experience to make, like, a song? Like, lyrics? Not Maybe not a whole Ooh. song, but, like... That's like a good inspired. question. You know what I mean? That's like, a really good question. Like, bro, that's like ins- that's like yeah. a crazy combo. I do. Yo, people I tell d- you things. Use that for like lyrics if you think. I've done shit. it. I've done it with my close boys for sure. Like okay. I've written some songs on like a couple of situations. Harpreet's been in or Nish has been in. Like, and they'll listen to him and be like, <laughs> <laughs> "Yo, wait a minute, wait oh, a minute." Dog. It's, <laughs> it's a little too familiar. Oh, yeah, <laughs> and I'll be like, "Yo, like you know, like I just keep the names out of it and I keep specifics yeah. out of it, but yeah. like, bro." All content is fair content, bro. Like, yeah. as long, you know what I mean? <laughs> like, fucks, you bro. guys know that better than anyone. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But, like, for my thing, is like, I just never want to, like, you know, 
do some shit where I like leave a bad like thing on. Yeah, you know what I mean. Sure. Um, Have you ever like dropped a girl's name? Like a real, like, and like, you know, I know Drake because I know Drake was dropping real life girls' names. He said, Nah, not yet. Yeah, I do it, bro. I'm not gonna <laughs> say drama, I, yo. Bro, like, this is the thing about me is that, like, like, I do, like, I do think, like, I'm uh, like becoming, like, and like the people around me tell me too, like, I do feel like I'm becoming, like, getting to the point where I'm becoming a great producer. Yeah. I do feel like I'm great at, like, like the rapping and the singing aspect of it, but I do feel like like writing and like freestyling or whatever you want to call it is like, like the the wordplay aspect of it is my stronger suit. Yeah. So like, I like I don't like to like cancel things off and be like yo I don't want to talk about this because mm-hmm. like you know what I mean like somebody's yeah. gonna feel some type of way. Yeah. Like, yo, like fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you you're know? doing the art, man. Nah, but it's like yeah. I. I do, I am just, like, the type of guy where, I like, I always have regard for other people, like, how they're going to take it and how they feel. No, that's yeah. good, though. That's good. Yeah. Um, So, I haven't dropped any names yet, but I also haven't dropped any names yet because I'm not, like, that, that big by any means. Yeah. So, like, it's easy for people to, like, find out right now who I'm talking about. Mm, you know what I'm trying true. to say? Yeah, that's Like, that's for true. example, like, this is just, like, I would never do this anyways, but let's just say I dropped an ex's name in a song. Yeah. Yeah. Like, like anyone that watches me, like... Not that many people would know who my ex is because I keep my I'm a closed book, bro. I keep my shit mad low key. Like yeah. I'm on the internet, people yeah. know who I am, what I look like, and you know what I mean that kind of thing. What you do, yeah. But in terms of actually knowing shit about me, yeah. what's the funniest thing on TikTok Live and on Instagram and in my DMs and shit? People will be trying to like act like they know so much, and I just laugh, bro. I'll be like, bro, if only you knew the half of it. Like, do you think yeah. is that? A, do you think is that a good thing for you trying to be an artist or more negative because mm. you know some people feel more connected if they know a person more but some people or, also like feel like the mystery aspect yeah the mystery. people like but, they want more but yeah, how but. many like there's specific situations where you should drop like specifics mm-hmm. but there's sometimes where you shouldn't yeah, you for know. example like if i do drop someone's name like it's like you said like people listen to songs more when they feel more connected to it right yeah. and an exact scenario. If I say something in a song and you're like, damn, I've been through that. It's going to hit you harder, right? Yeah. But it's not going to make it hit, like how, like for example, if I drop a girl's name, how many people are actually going to know that girl? Yeah. Where like that song will hit harder for those people. Yeah. It doesn't no, really not matter. Not even that though. Right? Not even like dropping girls name. just yeah. generally. Just like, no, yeah. Like I, like I, it is definitely a, like a good, like a, uh, like something that. I think it'd be both. Yeah. You know it, yeah. It is yeah. a double edged sword, but yeah. I do think it's more so like, like um it's not like you're a close close book either yeah. like you know we can still understand how you are yeah because you could be like funny and shit and that that's really shows the thing off the, off that's the, the thing like i do the thing is is that like if you bro at the end of the day like we know and this is facts i'm not even trying to like say any, like i'm not even like i'm not talking about anybody else i just know that like people don't really have personality nowadays mm-hmm. so like yeah. if you have personality that people will get attached to you gotta use that shit bro yeah because like uh, uh, like nowadays for yeah it's nowadays yeah. with like what you're doing in terms of like your talent and your passion and your content the way you look matters a lot yeah. the way you carry yourself matters a lot yeah. your personality matters a lot right like you can't be addicted to like you know what i mean so things like that like they are cards that like do end up playing in your favor mm-hmm. but like i feel like i do have like like i i think i have found the perfect balance between yeah. like the two yeah. where i'm like because like bro i these people that like, like I do a really good job in my opinion. I like, and I feel like people that watch me all the time will attest to this. I do a really good job at making people feel like they know so much about me and yeah, they feel so was. close to Jushin. Yeah. yeah. But like, once I turn that off, you don't know shit about me, bro. Yeah. Like, and you never will unless I tell you myself. That's like a life skill. To have yeah. To and it, yeah, it's not easy, bro. Yeah. But it's like, bro, like I'm like, it takes time, but you got to be able to like, like show cards like accordingly, right? Like I'll like talk to these people about certain things that like, and do certain things. Like sometimes I'll be on like TikTok live and niches with me and like the people in my life that watch me regularly love that guy. Yeah. yeah. Even Harpreet, they love that guy. Cause those are the only two guys, like I said, I talk about. Yeah. yeah. So they know, right. Um, it's like characters. Almost, yeah. It's you know, characters. Yeah. yeah. It's char- the other day me and Nish went to new West to get pizza yeah. and I was on live the whole time. Bro, there was like a constant like ninety to hundred people watching me like 
driving to New West in the dark, yeah. like yeah. to a specific pizza spot. Yeah. Bro, we ate pizza. They washed our like mukbang type thing, <laughs> yeah, yeah. right? It wasn't yeah. even like that, but like, it's not like I'm like, in the camera. Like, yeah, you yeah. know what I mean? Like, um, yeah, but it was like, it was like, it was. This kid likes to more shit. Yo, chill. Bro, no, the, you, know, you already know, you already know 4 a.m. He's watching the yeah, girl that's yeah, doing yeah. this. No, but he actually is though. No, like, actually, yeah, actually, yeah, actually, yeah, actually, yeah, actually, yeah. Yeah. Not, not the weird shit, not the weird shit, not the eating. Oh, it is the weird shit, bro. We know it's the weird shit. No, it's not, bro. It's not. Oh, He's literally shit, like the weird shit with the chicks out of their titties out and shit. <laughs> That's just fuck. That's just so weird. You wouldn't think TikTok's the website to go for that, eh? Yo, legit. Yeah, really fuck. Bro, I like, swear. TikTok has everything. Everything. I know. But, but yeah, so um, bro, I, I, I we we freaking raced on TikTok live. Like I put my camera down and we That's, ran. We like sprinted. We were walk by the pier at New West. And like yeah, so it's like that, it's like bro, yeah. you got to be able to have that side of you cuz yeah. bro, people will love you if you yeah. have a good personality. Yeah. Sure. And like Cause that's just you being you. Yeah, right? yeah. exactly. That's and it's what like, make them click on the link. That's yeah. the thing. You know what I mean? Like, if you're, bro, if you're naturally like a thought to people, bro, they're not gonna like you. Yeah. Like, doesn't matter how good your shit is, yeah. bro. You've heard it so many times where people will be like, "Yo, like, like his shit's sick," but I just don't fuck. Like, I just don't like like him as a person because yeah. of this, this, yeah. this that happened. So I don't really watch him. Yeah. You know, and it's a real thing. And like, yeah, in the grand scheme of things, once you get to where you want to get to, does it really matter if a few people aren't listening to you? But it's not even about that. Yeah. It's more about like the core values that you have. I like, I know my mom and dad raised me way better than to like, like, you know, leave bad impressions on people yeah. and just be cool with that. Right. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so it's just like, if you can be personable, like people love it. But like, like when I say that, like no one actually knows shit about me unless I tell you from my own, like I tell you myself, like it's the truth. Yeah. And like, I love that people think that they know. Mm-hmm. And like... That's good. Sometimes people will come in my lives and be like, yo, I know your ex. You say a name and it's not even the... I'm like, bro. Who the fuck is that? I'll be like, <laughs> I'll be like damn, yo. Like, let her know. I hope she's good. Yeah. That's literally what I say. Oh, I, bro, I, I, don't like, I hate yeah. those people, but yeah. they like say shit. Bro, to they'll, literally, shit. That, they'll bro. be like, bro, like, I know you dated this girl. They'll say a name <laughs> and like, it'll be like Priya or something. And yeah. I'll be like, yo, on oh, my mom, I didn't date a Priya. <laughs> yeah. I don't even say that on the live though. Yeah. I'll be like, yo... Let her know. I uh, hope she's doing well. Um, <laughs> yeah. I just saw, bro. I always leave it. It's like <laughs> so you know stupid. what I mean. It's just like so even like I always leave shit open ended. It's the funniest thing yeah. too. When people ask me like, "Yo, um, can I DM you or like, do you respond or can I take you out on a date?" I just say shit like, "Like if you ask me nice enough, like you know, yeah. I won't say no, but I won't say yes because yeah, I'm just yeah, like, yeah. bro, like what is really the truth behind a burner?" I saw my Kendrick Lamar called ing- ignorance. ignorance. Ignorance is bliss. God damn. I can't, I can't speak right now, bro. Really That's where you drop a freaking... <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, but thank God you didn't drop anything on time, bro. <laughs> I'm um, not going to hit as hard. Yeah. I, I thought you were trying to say some next level word. No, no, just no, like, maybe, like, maybe I just don't know this word. Yeah, maybe I just don't know this word. Maybe I just don't know English anymore. Yeah, yeah. You're, talking about, you're talking about like girls and shit, Nate. Um, I'm curious. Has there been like a... Wait, one week? sec. Hold that thought. Okay. I need to finish how I started. Okay, finish it, bro. Finish it. <laughs> we go. We, we are yeah, really we keep... Yo, it's not my time. fault. And yeah. I already know... The thing that bothers me about this is I already know that there's some people out there who are going to watch this that know me. They're yeah. going to be like, Justin, you do this all the time. You always go from story to story. <laughs> yeah. And it's not like that, bro. It's, it's like I'm having though. a conversation with my bros. Like yeah, it just... 100%. You know? It's good conversation. Yeah. But yeah, so then after that, pretty much... So that cover that I posted when I got the responses that I did... I remember I was, I went and walked into the room and I was there with my boys and I was like, bro, like, this is what I need to do with my life. And they're like, about time, Sarah, we've been saying this <laughs> shit, you know? Yeah. Um, and it's kind of funny because sometimes it's like, you're the only one who doesn't see it, but it's not that you don't see it, you're just like nervous enough to like, you know, get yeah, it done. Yeah, yeah. But, <clears throat> so then, um, this is where it took a turn. So, so I posted that, um, I posted that uh, cover and I got that response on Instagram, um, on my story. And then the next day I was just working, I was cutting and, uh, one of my boys came in, it was around like 12 o'clock. I still remember. And before I started his cut, I was like, yo, <clears throat> let me just post it on Twitter. Funny story. Um, grade 10, I deleted Twitter. Um, like not that account. I just deleted the app cause I would okay. never tweeted anything. That's yeah. just not like what yeah. I, you know what I mean? Yeah. So randomly Raman said to me the night before he's like yo shit bangs on twitter sometimes just download twitter post it yeah all right cool bro downloaded twitter yeah when my i was like my boy was sitting in the chair he's just waiting i download twitter bro i post it i i I captioned all my songs the same it was like uh best part um dash and then i would tag the singer so i tagged daniel caesar and i think i tagged her as well because it's like a both of them and then um bro my phone 
didn't i never thought it would happen to me bro i'll be real yeah. and like like now for example we're trying yeah. right so on tiktok if a video of ours goes viral we're gonna be like yo like that's sick yeah, yeah. like it's mad unexpected it's, it's not mad unexpected it's it's surprising yeah but like we were going for that yeah right um <clears throat> Bro, this is like I said before TikTok, before any of that. Nobody was posting shit of themselves, right? And bro, within like I think it was like fifteen minutes, I had like five thousand views, right? Mm, and like Twitter's tough. On Twitter, too, like, Twitter's fuck. tough, bro. Twitter's it was so like, tough. Ramen literally. I remember we were talking. He's like, bro, this is probably the second hardest platform to get views on, other than YouTube. Yeah. And and at this time, bro, like I don't know what the fuck it feels like to yeah. like I don't know any of this, bro. Yeah. Like. I just posted my first cover that like not even twenty four hours before, bro. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I mean, bro. Um, I think it was like, uh, I think it was like twenty six or twenty seven minutes. It had like ten thousand views. Then it was like fifteen thousand, twenty thousand. Damn. And um, this is when this was twenty nineteen when the Raptors were in the playoffs. The year they won. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. That's what a year! Like, oh, beautiful what a year, there, man! What a year! I have, I have the ring on the table there. Wait, were you living in Toronto ring. during that? Nah, I was here. I was oh, here. Oh, well, imagine oh, you living in Toronto. Nah, that'd be crazy. Head, Fuck, um, man! We'll talk about suck now, right team. now. They suck right now, bro. It's like it's the same thing, bro. It's the same thing with all our teams, bro. The Canucks yeah. do the same thing. I don't know yeah. why. I feel like it's bro. just. I feel like it's just. It's like no, you know, yeah, no, but you know what, bro? They they like play like ass for so long mm -hmm. and then when it's time to lose and we're like yo like i hope the tank and get some raptors aren't at that point but like yeah. canucks every year's the same shit bro yeah it is tank exactly now the get a good pick they start win bro they won what three straight now four straight or something straight. you know what i mean yeah yeah, yeah. Too, yeah. like yeah. what the fuck bro why yeah. sense, like no bro. one cares when, when it doesn't matter because the organization will be like oh like like it's like a pride thing you know like for the we can't give it bro yeah. the fans yeah, are telling you <laughs> to give it up fam like yeah. get like Anyways, that's a whole other yeah, thing. Yeah, that's a whole other thing. But um, but bro, so I remember that night we were like, like my boys came to my house to like watch the, um, watch the uh game, <clears throat> and um, these guys were betting on like what the video is gonna stop at. Cause I remember like six ish hours in, I think I was at like, um, like four. 40-ish thousand views Somewhere around there 440? Right? 40 40,000 okay. views um, I wouldn't be doing this podcast <laughs> <laughs> No I'm kidding I'm kidding um, with, uh, uh, Paul Silver Joe Rogan Or some <laughs> shit <laughs> You'd be on a pod With drink Joe, drink yeah, with me, you, yeah, bro. Straight. <laughs> bro Bean chilling yeah, Joe, one, yeah. Joe Rogan Bro like, It's interesting Because like, he always does this <laughs> Bro I'm just like Damn bro um, different breed, yeah. Really think about I it I swear yeah <laughs> sure And Um but yeah, so it had like 40,000 views. And like, I that's this was after work, before we're about to watch the game. Actually, no, I had like 30,000. And I went up to my parents and I was like, yo, so I did something today. Like, I, <laughs> I posted a video of myself singing. They're like, sick, finally. Yeah. I'm like, yeah, that's 30,000 views. And my dad's like, what? <laughs> what the fuck do you mean it has 30,000 views? Yeah. My mom, like, didn't really, she wasn't really picking it up. Was um, I'm like, mom, like, you know like and she's like no i understand what you're saying like but why like how right yeah. and i was like i don't even know right yeah. and um and yo know, so then we will go downstairs we're about we're watching the game it was like halftime and they're like yo where do you guys think it's gonna stop and they're all betting like like one said forty thousand, one said 45 someone said like 69 obviously <laughs> one said i think 75 was like the max that they said yeah um <clears throat> When I went to sleep that night, so this was the first day. When I went to sleep that night, it had like, I think like 75, 80,000 views. Nice. Bro, and like, I'm going to talk about this like right after, but like the next the next morning when I woke up, it was 100. Mm. And I was just like, bro, I'm just laying there in bed looking at my phone and like, I'm like, bro, what is happening? Yeah, like, yeah. It's not actually, I've learned obviously with time that nothing's ever as good or as bad as you think it may be. Yeah. But like, I was just like, bro, this shit's about to change my life. Dog. Like, yeah. what the fuck is going on? Yeah. But like, not that, I, feel like that not like, that right? I even wanted to though. Yeah. I didn't even want it to like do anything. Like I literally just posted it. Yeah. Um, And uh, <clears throat> so, yeah, basically I think now it's at like 200. Like it, it basically slowly just kept going and going and going. Mm -hmm. And bro, this shit. That these girls were saying to me, bro, 
No, no, for yeah, real bro. though, bro. Because yeah. y'all know, y'all know, Twitter is crazy. Yeah, yeah. And bro, <coughs> for real, like, bro, you could double down Twitter on that shit. They go have, and bro, like the thing is, like, they don't even DM it to you, bro. They shit. post, they tweet it on their shit. Yeah, yeah. bro. So these two, yeah. like, like, bro. Shout out to all types of girls, shout but bro, out. like. Like there was like Asian girls saying like yo I never knew I needed a brown man this much. Yo. There was like like Pakistani Muslim girls that were like yo Kabul had times three. Yo. And, like, <laughs> Punjabi girls were like obviously going doing their thing. Yeah. Like there was like you know like you're, it was crazy. You're up, yo. you're fucking Bro, crazy. Yeah. all colors, shapes, and sizes, <laughs> and we love them all. Yeah. Um. And bro, they were just like showing so much love and like, but bro, like. It was some of them were pretty fucking freaky, bro. Like I, I literally remember one girl said, "Blend me and drink me." Yo, what oh, the fuck? Like, so she's like, "So I could explore your shit. insides." Yo, nah. And nah, I was nah, like, "Yo," nah. and if you're watching, yo, shout out to you. Nah, that's <laughs> so fucked. Yo, your insides. That's crazy. <laughs> That's yo, crazy. That, that's a clip that's like some, go, fuck. That's like some magic school bus shit, dog. Yo, <laughs> you know, like, it is, bro. She goes shrieking uh, like a yeah. Inside is crazy. And she bro, was, like, that was a three um, number. Yeah, I swear. <laughs> that's different. She was going through some shit, dog. Yeah. Um, I'm glad I could help. <laughs> or make it <laughs> worse. Bit, or, or make, make it, it worse. worse. I don't yeah. even know what the fuck it is. made a little worse. But <laughs> I remember there was this one where, like, I, I was, like, going through them, and I left it on the, on the island. Yeah. And the thing, the tweet said... um. Um, it's funny because like who knows if these if these girls watch it they'll probably just laugh like yo that was me dog. like yeah, what the yeah, fuck yeah. but like this um this one girl tweeted she was like my wifi is messed up right now so I only saw the first three seconds but I think I'm pregnant right yo. <laughs> and it was on the island and my mom saw it yeah. <laughs> and she's oh like <laughs> oh my god no and my mom literally no said <laughs> she's like She's like, uh, I'm like, yo, that's hilarious. Um, that was crazy. But yeah, they were that's just showing, so they were just showing mad love, like regardless yeah. of how whatever kind of tweet it was, like it was all just love, like mm-hmm. you know. And like it takes me back to that thing where when I said like I knew I had tone and like I could hit notes and stuff, but I never thought that it was anything special to that degree, mm. bro. At that point, it literally felt like the whole world just like was only like. You know, like, they're like, yo, this guy's voice is fucking, like, you know? Yeah. Like, it was going to be some Justin Bieber baby type shit. Yeah. <laughs> like, you know, like, I didn't actually think like that. I'm just like, yeah. you know, but. Did it give you, like, a lot of confidence? And, like, they, bro, what? after that, I was just like, yo, I can't, like, I unprivated my um Instagram. I gained, like, 2,000 followers, like, instantly. No right? Because I had, like, a lot of requests because I was, like, like, I was a private on there, right? Yeah. Um, Bro, I literally went from, like, 600 followers like 2000 within like the like as soon as i like accepted it and that was after like filtering them out because some of them were like some weird accounts and shit right yeah um and then yeah bro after that what you do after what was the step after that after that i I started posting um covers every week um have you archived any of them or like yeah i've archived 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 uh but not because they're not good just because like like um there's just just as you grow like yeah, you know, you don't want like, I, i've left yeah. yeah i've left like three um that did v- extremely well on twitter and instagram not that i left them because they did well just because i knew that like people will still message me till this day and be like bro sometimes i go back and listen to that cover and just listen to that cover no and bro i was getting dms like yo like i was actually going through some shit and like this song and your voice for some reason like helped me a lot. That's crazy. And I was just That's like, bro, insane. like, yeah. and it, it takes me back to the see you soon thing where I was like, yo, I want to delete the song. It's like, bro, you never knew what, know what something's doing for someone. 100%. Don't, right? 100%. Imagine somebody's like fucking heartbreak, yeah, cheated, bro. and then they're yeah. like, man, this is the yeah, song I need right now. I swear. Be, what the fuck? Yeah, <laughs> I swear, going. right? <laughs> like, <laughs> and, up, yeah. yeah, so yeah, then, yeah. I, so then exactly. after that, I was like, there was a couple of locals in the city, like I hit up producers and then I was just like, just started it just started going from there yo and then i just started gaining traction from like all the covers i was posting um i wish tiktok was a thing then yeah 100%. because i do feel like when it blew up like all the way there like sometimes you just got to catch something in the heat of the moment and just run with the stride right yeah, yeah. and i do feel like if i had posted those videos if tiktok was a thing at that time yeah i feel like they would have blew for yeah, sure banged, yeah. but like everything happens at its right time right yeah. um yeah. <laughs> And uh, so, is that is there any more you want to say about the story? Uh, well, no, that's pretty much more or less it. Like after that, I just started like hitting up the studio and like slowly doing my thing. I, you have, know? A, I have a question. You go ahead. We're talking about like the beginning part, but like I asked this question on the last pod too. We did a pod with another artist. Um, what is your like? I what is, what do you describe your I made it moment as? 
And we've been talking about the journey and stuff. Wow. So how, like, what is your I oh. made it moment? Um, it's funny because I like, I've, uh, I've, I think about this shit all the time. Yeah. You know, like that's all I ever dream about. Yeah. So like I, I have answers to all these questions. But like, the day I'm in like a stadium. Yeah. And it's like. Not even like Rogers Arena? Or is that a stadium? That is a stadium. Okay, okay, gotcha. Like a, any sort of like like a re- arena, like yeah, an actual I'm arena. Yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> And uh, and like I'm standing on stage and I'm not saying a word and everyone's just singing the song. Yeah, I saw That's that when I know too, yeah. that like like everything that we did. Like I literally have had like visions of like me looking behind the curtain and like Nish and Harpy and Roman are like standing right there and I'm just like looking at them, like giving them that look. Like yo, everything we did up until this point. Yeah. Like if it all paid off, like we yeah. we actually did it, like we can do whatever the fuck we want. Yeah. Like, but when you dream that shit, it yeah. feels fucking hits. Bro, it's my gonna mom, too, the law of attraction. Man. My mom came downstairs one day, and bro, she was like in tears. Yeah. It was the weirdest thing, and I was like, "Yo, what happened?" And she's like, "I had a dream that um you were in a stadium, and like everyone was just singing your songs." Yeah. And like, bro, mom's vision, like they're not dreams, bro. Yeah. That's just reality, like, bro. Their intuition is different yeah um and yeah so like it's just like well that's probably the one moment where i'll know like and obviously along the way there will come other things yeah where it's like people start like brands start hitting you up and like yeah. you know your songs are getting traction and like <clears throat> all of these are i made it moments yeah. yeah because what really is i made it moment right it's all subjective to each person yeah right it's not, it's not it's not always one specific moment either, mm, right? Yeah, so, yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. There's like there could literally be a phase in your life where like yo, this is when I knew like yeah. day by day that I knew that we were gonna get there and it was going happening, you know? Yeah. For sure. But um I got yeah. a, I got another thing. Yeah, um yeah. I was asking this before, uh what is like a day to day life what's a, what what does a day day in the life look like for you? Uh now, like in Toronto or when I was here? In Toronto. I in Toronto and then we'll talk about the you know how different In it is. Toronto, bro, like I don't even get time to breathe, dog. Like, it's actually crazy. Like, I wake up at, like, probably, like, 7, 8 a.m. I hit the gym right in the morning. Mm-hmm. Um, That's where your fire start right there. Yeah, yeah every, every day I do the same yeah. thing. Um, and I love my routine, yo. Yeah. Um, and then I go to work, work all day to, like, I usually don't get home to, like, minimum, like, 7.45, 8-ish, mm-hmm. minimum. And then after that, bro, it's just, like, like, if there's any, like, small things around the house I need to do, like, around the... Condo, like I just do them, um, and then music, and uh, <clears throat> that's another reason I love coming home so often, is because well, I mean this is only the second time. Like the first time I went there, I came back after six months because yeah. I wanted to like plant my base. Yeah, because I knew that if I came back after like two months, Too soon, yeah. like I would have been like, "Fuck, dude, I don't yeah. want to go back." Right? Yeah. How 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 long has it been you been in Toronto? Mm, I moved there like right at the beginning of August. Mm. Um, so <clears throat> yeah, it's been like, what, like, what was that? Like eight months or somewhere, or somewhere around yeah, there. So what's the experience like living on your own, like moving out of your like parents' house and stuff. So in a different city completely. Hmm. Right? So in 2020, I did it. Um, but, uh, I moved to Toronto in 2020 the first time, but four months later I had to come back cause COVID shut everything down. Oh yeah. yeah. Um, and I couldn't work in anything. So like I came back and like, you know, it makes you a maid man. Like you really become like. Who you're supposed to be you yeah, know? Yeah. In 2020 I feel like I didn't even get like the full Like Like extent of it Cause I had to come back soon And like I was a lot Like like I wasn't like Age wise I wasn't too too much younger yeah. But like mentality wise I was so much younger Yeah. And like sometimes Like bro, like I've said to Raman Like the other day I was like yo Like I feel like In the past Cause we have like these kinds of like conversations all the time right yeah and i was, I said to him i was like bro i feel like in the past two years or like year and a half i've grew up like four yeah. um because you learn so much about yourself yeah, being about by yourself other people straight, bro. The yeah. yeah and um hardcore and it wasn't even just being by myself it was just other experiences that happened in like my life too okay um everything together just like bro like it's like it's the most double edged sword, but like pain is like the one characteristic that teaches you the most out of I anything, know, right? Yeah. Like when you're like there in like the depths, and you have no one to like, like you can talk to people about it, but like it doesn't really actually help anything. Yeah, and you gotta just grind it out yeah. through the trenches, and then when you come out the other side, bro, you're like, fuck, dog. Like, thank God I went through that. Yeah, because now I'm really who I'm supposed to it's be. Like a heartbreak yeah. or something. Become sure. like, uh. 
Yeah, we just dropped it on him. Huh? No, no, no. Yeah, it's <laughs> well, not like, the viewers no, but no, no but like, that's life. It happens to everyone. Yeah, yeah. Um, that was one of the things. <laughs> that was one of the yeah, things. Yeah. But like, um, there's been a, I, I, everybody has a sob story. I'm not trying to get into mine, but like, yeah, yeah. there's been a couple of times where I like, like I was like, and I'm not even talking about girl aspect. I'm talking about like close friends. Where like I was giving a lot more than I was receiving, you know, okay, gotcha. and it's like you ever get the feeling where like you feel like like maybe not so much anymore, but when you're like maybe a little bit younger, where you know that you're putting more effort into a relationship, but you like the person so much, so you just allow it. Yeah, It'll be like yo, know, like yeah. that's just how he is. T- yeah. That's just how they are. Yeah, but like bro, that's not just how it is, yeah. and that's not just how they are. Because yeah. bro, like if someone truly fucks with you and wants you around, they're gonna keep you around. Yeah, yeah. And if they don't, bro, like. Like, like, I'm not even trying to like, like you know, like up for do that thing, bro. Like yeah. just constantly calling someone who doesn't even give a shit. Yeah. Like you know, yeah. like we got our own shit to do too. But we make time within our busy schedules to reach out to this person. Yeah. And these people will yeah. sometimes even be more billy than you, and they're not even like, yeah. they're just like they're just like when they pick up, it's all cool. But it's just like yo, it's not actually all gravy like that, you know. Yeah. Um. Gravy. But like yo, harpy some Toronto shit. Uh, <laughs> I don't even think that's a Toronto thing. I just think like still, um, still. <laughs> nice, it, nice. It. Have you been seeing a lot of Toronto's like these days? Um, you developed it or what? Yeah, I work in a barber shop. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah right? bro, hundred percent. So man. it's like, wait, it's you. Like, oh, oh, <laughs> like the thing is, only yeah, guys so like clap tail and waist deep. Yeah. <laughs> and the funny thing is, though, like obviously, like for jokes and shit, like we say it like that. Yeah. yeah. But like that's not even how like people use it there. Like, it, like, okay. um. Even me and Raman talk about it, like, um, like they don't actually say it in a cringe way at all, bro. It actually sounds wavy as fuck. Actually? Like the way that people say the shit, um, it's like uh, lingo is sick, though. Lingo, yeah, lingo yeah. Really bro. Beats, it's just you know? yo. It's just like it just adds a different style, bro. Yeah, like it's yeah. like it's like everyone's even there, bro. Like one thing I've noticed, like, bro, Surrey is life. Like I love it. You know, like it would never change. It. Like this is what made us who we are. Yeah. But like going to different, and it's not just about Toronto, like, and it's not just about me. Like anyone in this world who's like traveled properly will, will tell you that, like, bro, we're not even living life. Yeah, bro, fast. Like, we've Have you ever heard out. anyone come back from a proper vacation and be like, bro, like, honestly, like, people here are more woke. Yeah, because like, we always look for what's different. Yeah. yeah, and bro, people there, like, in terms of like, like trying different shit, hobbies, passions, fashion, style, everything, yeah. bro. People are just so open minded, yeah. yeah, and they're actually willing to try shit, yeah, right. That's the difference. I think. I think Toronto another thing, theory, yeah. but I think another thing that plays with that is that there's way more people in Toronto. Way more here. facts. Yeah. The culture is definitely more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that that, that is true because yeah. well, I think like almost half of Canada lives in just Ontario alone. Yeah, right? like, exactly. So it's definitely like that does play a role. Yeah. Um, because like cultural diversity and everything like helps with that, right? Yeah. Yeah. But um, I like Toronto a lot in that sense, like the diverse sense. Yeah, and like, yo, there's good and bad everywhere in yeah. all aspects. Yeah. But bro, like people like, like they're not, even like guys that come to the barbershop, bro, like they're down yeah. to get different types of like hairstyles and like, like nobody, bro, the other day, yeah. before, the, literally the day before I came here, one of my clients got a haircut and yo, like, you know how people post slits in their eyebrows? Yeah. Bro, he got an X in his eyebrow. It was the sickest looking thing. Bro, I did not, I genuinely, when he told me to do it, I did not think it was going to look sick. No yeah. Bro, it looked crazy. Yeah. Like, I, I, that I, sounds I, so pretty sick. I don't know if I would do it, yeah. but like, for a second, I low key was thinking like, because that's how I, I am. Was like, think I was gonna, like, slit too or I've done, I've done it a few times. Like, it's, mom, mom yeah. <laughs> no, it looks. But I think I like. I'm just the type of guy like, even like on like like TikTok and stuff. I post like fit checks and shit like that. Yeah. Like, I just always like try doing shit that's different yeah. that nobody You're else. Wavy, you know? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. That's the term I actually always use. But yeah. like, it's like I just wanted to be like. People remember like Justin for like a style, like how I said, we just got to give them things to like catch on to. Yeah. Like I just like, like a lot of people like talk to like comment and like, you know, like, like DM or whatever on those videos too. And they'll be like, bro, like the way you dress is sick. Like it's, you know, so like I always try to do some different shit. Yeah. Um, That's good though, because then it separates you from the. Yeah, the exactly. Thing, Cause yo, like, like for me, the biggest ever leap was posting that first video. Yeah. Right. And I did all my overthinking in that phase where I was like, low key, okay, yeah. right? Like, uh, like, who gives a fuck? Yeah, you know Kihoga, this, yeah. that, like, it doesn't. None of that matters, bro. Nobody actually gives a fuck about yeah. you that much. Yeah, 
Bro, Bande will Everybody say something. Does. Everyone has a... Like, people will say an opinion with zero actual regard for who the fuck you are and what you like yeah, actually yeah. do. They yeah. just, they just move on to their own life, bro. Yeah. When you wake up, you're not thinking about some next guy, bro. You're yeah. thinking about what you need to do that day, yeah. right? But yeah, I just feel like in that sense, like everything's a lot more like open-minded and I do feel like... um, Well, I, at least I hope that it'll get to a point like that here. Yeah, um, I, I, I actually do too. We've had that conversation before too. Yeah, kind of too. And if, it's just like uh, a place like know. Toronto has more like... It's more of a culturalized like yeah like i don't know like yeah there's way it's more different like, it's very different it's a lot of different things there and i think be. east coast and west coast are really different too like east yeah. coast is like more like on top of their shit yeah. like go 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 and like the west coast is more like chilled out a little bit more laid back yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. definitely bro like even because <clears throat> i live in downtown in toronto right yeah like every now like every now and then when i do take a day off like just to make music all day type deal um but when i walk to get google starbucks or some shit like that <clears throat> bro like you can hear the noise in the city and you like because i live right under like it's called the gardener expressway it's like the main like highway that goes through toronto yeah bro like and like the amount of cars on there all day yeah. bro, it puts so much shit into perspective bro yeah, yeah. Like even the roads jungle, under yeah yeah, it's, yeah. it's, it's the like closest thing you know, it's the closest thing to an american city yeah we were having that conversation yeah, when i was there I or when we were there um and it's like, bro, like it's just, and then and then I'll I'll finish making a song at five a.m. Yeah, I look at the gardener; it's empty. It just puts so much into perspective. Yeah. Where like everyone just gives a shit about their own life to make something of themselves. Yeah, yeah. nobody actually cares about you that much, bro. Yeah, like, just do what you got to do. Yeah, live life the way you want to live. Eat what you want to fucking eat. Do what you want to do. You know what yeah. I mean, shit, like, bro? It's I, not actually that deep. Bro. Yeah, it's not at all. Nothing yeah. ever is, bro. Yeah. Yeah. We make it for ourselves in yeah. our heads, right? Like. Everything's such a big deal about like what the fuck everyone do we like need to do? yeah everyone thinks everyone's looking at them you know a lot oh. of the time like you walk yeah. in the gym yeah you walk in the gym everyone's looking at you no man because oh, when you yeah, yeah. that's everyone's, how it is in our yeah. heads bro but then yo but then when you get to like if you're actually trying to put yourself out there you'll know when you get to a point where everyone's like looking at you yeah right like yeah where people go out, like when you go out like you start moving a little you know what I mean like and it's not a bad thing it just means that you're aware of that you need to carry yourself in a certain yeah. way right but and that's and also that's like two different things too you know yeah yeah yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. and yeah. about people looking at you what's the weirdest fan interaction you've you've ever had mm. sick transition for me by the way that was sick transition. <laughs> i rate that looking at you. i actually rate that that was sick <laughs> um honestly i'm not gonna lie i don't like i would I'm pretty lucky in that sense where i haven't had any two two weird ones yet yeah. sometimes there are like a little bit like times where like like she probably should have let the conversation, like, you know, let me go a little bit ago. <laughs> oh, like, where it's like, because like, and like, bro, like, I, like, just to make, like, just to preface before what I say, like, all of them are appreciated so much. Yeah. Like, bro, anyone that comes up to me and asks for, like, a signature or a fucking, like, a picture or, like, whatever it may be, I'm just like, bro, like, the fact that, like, because, and sometimes I also feel like it's a me thing. Cause like I'm trying to get so far in my life. Like I say this to, and obviously I sound like a madman to whoever's gonna be watching. Cause they don't yeah. know me. They don't yeah. know how hard I work. Yeah. They don't know like what I have for music in my heart. But what all the people that we look up to, that I look up to, that you guys look up to, into what you, in your respective field, yeah. bro, they were all fucking delusional one day. Yeah, yeah. they were all just yeah, little. They were like all that. just kids with a dream that were sitting in a room that just wanted to get it done. Until yeah. it happens, and it's like, oh, yo, bro, bro, it's before all that, really before that's like, right now. Before there's like, yo, you're delusional, you're done. Yeah, yeah, it's bro, it's all cringe yeah. until one day it's not, and then when they come around so quickly, like, yo, I knew, bro. I know, I'm like, no, you didn't, dog. You didn't know. I don't like. They'll be like, yo, I knew him in high school. I'm like, no. No, I don't know. <laughs> like, please, you, yeah. like, just yeah. I and yo, I never take anything personally. Yeah. I never give a shit about like, because obviously, like, you know, like you are with your. Why are you playing that? That's so right. I'm like, yo, you're with your people. You keep it like you know. It's all good. It's yeah. Like, it's not like it's not like we have a problem with anyone. Yeah. But it's just like, bro, when they come around like that, like, yo, I knew it. No, you didn't. Yeah. And that's right? what like, we're, not, we're not even near anywhere. To be yeah. Like, exactly. But yeah. that's the point. Is that like. One day, like, I'm trying to make, like, Drake look like he wasn't even that big. Like, Bande yeah. will be like, yo, like, I thought Drake was huge until Justin was, like, fuck. And, like, <laughs> yeah. yo, I mean, Drake, if you see this one day, <laughs> I fucking love you, dog. Drake, like, yeah, if Drake is one day, <laughs> yo, Drake, yo, bro. Us, bro. Nah, nah, facts, yo. <laughs> yeah. um, no, but he'll, he'll probably respect that mindset anyways. He yeah, exactly. No, but that's what I was about to say. They yeah. would never, anybody in that position would never look back and be like, yo, 
why the fuck would he say that? They'd be like, yo, that was me yeah. with that fire under my ass. Because yeah. Drake says, and there's this rapper in our interview that he has. Bro, I've never seen this interview. It's two hours and 21 minutes, I think, or 19 minutes or something. Yeah. It's one of the two. I've seen this interview like 28 times. Because mm-hmm. I fucking, bro, Which there's one so it? many. It's it's called it's a rap raider. It's like, okay. um, oh, yeah, that was fucking yeah, yeah, bro, the amount of gems that he drops in there, especially for someone trying to do what he did. And, bro, he literally said in that, he's like, I remember when I was coming up, all I wanted to do was be remotely as big as Lil Wayne. Because mm-hmm. I remember thinking that no one's ever going to be this big of an artist. Because yeah. he's like, I used to go on tour with this guy. And, like, I used to see this guy do what he does. And it was different, right? Put it like that, yeah. It's good. And, bro, like, like, you know, Lil Wayne, we all fucking love him. He's amazing. He's a goat. Yeah. But Drake is on a different level, bro. Yeah. yeah. So, like... If you don't think that you're like, bro, if that, if you're not hungry, bro, you're not going to eat like that. You know what I mean? It's just simple. And like you were saying that like, oh, like people who are watching this, they're going to think I'm a madman. I think it's the people who get it, they get it. They get Exactly. Exactly. But like, luckily I've been uh, okay enough where it's kind of like anybody that I do say that to, they'll be like, bro, like the way you talk about it and the work that you put in, I see it in you, you know? And that just proves that you have like good people around Yeah, exactly. And, but I'm saying that like in the sense where like where he was talking about the fan interactions, like even these people believe it, bro. Like in my TikTok live, they don't know me. Bro, I say this shit, but every time I leave, I have like the same outro. Yeah. I'm like, yo, you already know what it is. I'm catching you guys in the next one. Like, I appreciate you for tuning in for the future greatest artists of the world. You know, bro, everybody like, Believes it, right? I think people can see like that confidence that you have in yeah. like the fact you gotta putting it out too. Yeah. Like, yeah. there's a very, very fine line of like, like you gotta have this like confidence and like yeah. bravado that like, like, dude, I am him because yeah. you'll never be that guy if you don't think you're you are that it's guy. It's like a bro. balance between confidence and like charm. Yeah, like, exactly, exactly. Yeah. And like, and like, bro, the funniest thing is only people that aren't doing as much as you or have big aspirations yeah. will think like, will say. Even though it's more rare now, they'll say things like, like, um, and I don't even mean for myself, myself specifically, myself (laughs) specifically, I mean like in general, like those are the only people that will be like, yo, this guy's being cocky or he's getting ahead of himself or this or that. Like people that are doing less than you, anyone who's ever doing like, like not even, they they don't even need to be doing more than you. They're just like have their own goals and ambitions and they're just chasing it. And they'll never say that. Respect what you're saying, respect the belief, all that shit. But um, but yeah, I don't. I wouldn't say that I've had any crazy weird fan. Like, okay, like man. they, but they like sometimes like they're like. There's been a couple times where like you know like I give them a little side hug and I'll be like, all right, like appreciate you. I'm getting. And then they just keep asking me questions, <laughs> holding me there. Yeah. But like most mm-hmm. of the times, it's just like they're pretty like. They know the drill, you know? Because, yeah. like, they'll yeah. probably come, though. They'll probably come. Yeah, well, yeah, it will, will for sure. And I, will. and I can't wait for that time. Yeah, yeah, That's yeah. what I'm working this hard for, right? Yeah, like, yeah. but it's funny because one thing I have noticed is that, like, when they see me, they'll be like, oh my God, it's Justin, yeah, right? Like, yeah. as if I'm like, like, for them, like, yo, know, I, I, I'm so thankful that, like, somebody sees me that way, you know? Yeah, so. But, like, I feel like they forget to themselves that he's big like or while he's getting there but he's not there so then they start trying to get like a little bit reserved like i'm not losing it right but like at the same time initially (laughs) they'll be like yo who knows if i'll ever see this guy again right so they'll be like oh my god it's justin they come up to me they say whatever and then when i start having a conversation with them then they like tone it down because they're shy or whatever right yeah yeah, yeah. so i'm like but like i had one in toronto that was actually sick this guy i can't even remember his name um, not that I know him personally, Charles. but yo, shout out to him. <laughs> shout out to him, yo. No, the hell know who he is because I was walking down. Um, uh, I was like, it was like Friday night. I was literally just getting food, yeah. and um, bro, this guy just grabbed my arm and he's like, Justin. I'm like, what's up, bro? He's like, you don't know me. I was like, yeah, bro. I'd be lying if I said I recognize <laughs> you, right? He's like, yo, me and my girl like listen to everything you make, bro. That's dope. And so. and yo, one thing I will say is obviously like. The ladies, I love them, right? Mm-hmm. Like, I appreciate them so much. Yeah. But when a guy says it, it's because you know there's no ulterior motive. Mm-hmm. Yeah. They're literally just, like, showing you love. And then they're like, yo, like, they don't want, like, like, most times at least, they're not, like, trying to, like, you know, like, hit you up or, like, do anything like that. They're literally just, like, it's like I see you out and I'm like, yo, I've seen you on TikTok. I've seen your podcast. Yeah. You guys are killing it. Keep doing your thing. And then yeah. you move on. Yeah. You're going to know that it's not because he th- like she thinks I'm hot or, like, yeah. whatever yeah. the fucking case is. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, which like, either way, the art, the which either way, equally appreciated, yeah. right? Um, yeah. uh, but uh, W is W is. Yeah, because yo, we are for the ladies, you know. It is what it is. But 
Um, yeah, when when like like it's definitely like you know. And then this guy, he said, like, "Bro, can I Facetime my girl?" And I was like, "Yo, sure." Yeah. And it was a bro. Steals it was like, girl. bro. <laughs> 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 nah, um, no, but like, bro, you wouldn't believe how many times pe- like guys have hit me up on some like shit where like like it's just anger, bro. And I'm just yeah, like, what dog, the fuck? like, bro, like, and it's never off of like actual DMs or like Insta- like Instagram, or whatever. Yeah, there's only been once or twice where like a guy has messaged me off his actual account, bro. It's always random calls off like like random numbers, like prank calls, yeah, and like and, and bro, I love picking them up. Yeah. I'm all for banter, bro. That's just me. That's just me. That's yeah. who I am. Yeah. I'll pick it up. Bro, I literally, this is the day I realized that that's what it was. It was like very early on. And this guy's like, yo, who the fuck do you think you are? Shit like that. <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, bro, like, bro. And it makes them so mad when you like talk, like, like you calm them down. And then they start to realize that like, bro, I was literally like, stupid. I was like, bro, like, talk to me, fam. Like, what's the actual issue here? And he's like, yo, fuck you. Like, you think you're, like, fucking big shot now, this, that. I'm like, bro, like, what's actually bothering you? Does your girl listen to my music or something? Like, is, yo, I, yo. bro, <laughs> he started going off. And I knew that was it. That's yeah. crazy. And I was like, bro, tell her I said I appreciate you for showing love. And, like, yo, like, hit me back if you ever have some actual shit that you need to talk about. And what's her number? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. And, yo, yeah, I can show my what's her, yeah, yo. yeah. What's her, what's her uh, Instagram handle? Um, But, yeah, like, so... Um, but yeah, he was just like, so that's why, like, the fact that, like, he's like, cause yo, guys hit you up on some, like, shit like that, where it's like, yo, like, why are you hating on me for, like, just doing what I do? Yeah. And, like, it's good, so she likes it, right? Like, yo, maybe you should try listening to it too. Everybody needs music, and it's inevitable in your yeah, life, yeah. right? But, like, um, maybe it's cause I'm, like, sometimes I feel like it's cause I'm not, like, bigger, like, big, big yet. Yeah. So it's like, they f- it's like personal. Like, yeah, like they like, might yo, think, like, yo, she yeah. could actually get to him yeah, or some I, shit like that, you yeah. know? It's insecurity, man. Um, it's insecurity. It is. It's yeah. Insecurity, jealousy. Um, yeah. They don't know me as a person, though. Yeah. I don't step on toes. If yeah. I, like, if some girl has a boyfriend, like, I would never, that's not me. I would never mm. do that, you know? Yeah. Um, I would, like, I literally think about it from the guy. No, it's not Cap. <laughs> I think about oh, like, it. I think, I couldn't even tell what you said and then I processed it. No, no, no. I've, like, no, because it's been a real situation before where, yeah. like, like, girls will, like, you know, like, it was, like, react to my story or respond, send me a DM. And, like, yeah. if I respond, like, conversation goes on. And, like, the, like, They'll be like they do some sneaky shit where like you know they'll delete the highlights or whatever of like the guy or whatever the fucking oh, case yeah, is right, that's bro, insane, bro. bro. And I'll literally guy, bro. and I'll lit- and I'll literally be like yo like do you have a boyfriend because that I don't do that shit yeah. and like, I remember this one girl was like it's happened like three or four times obviously hopefully that like that doesn't become a often thing right like yeah. three or four in a couple of years is enough right yeah. but like they'll hit me up with like yo it's complicated like we're figuring things out and bro like. I literally, like, I don't even know how to say it. Like, I'll literally be like, yo, if she, like, hit me up when it's not complicated. Because I, bro, I think about it from the guy's perspective, dog. Like, yeah. yo, like, obviously, that's some shit that he needs to figure out. Because, like, yo, if his girl's doing that in the first place, like, yeah. right? Like, <clears throat> um, but yeah, so he FaceTimed this girl. Like, like I, I had the phone. So when, uh, like, she picked up, it was me. Bro, she tripped the fuck out. It was, yeah. it was sick, yo. Yeah. They showed mad love, bro. He gave me a sick hug. He's like, bro, like. I genuinely believe that you're gonna be like one of the best ever. Just keep doing your thing, yo. That's wow. that's like, amazing to hear from. And he's so like, random, yeah, bro. He literally said person. he's like, yo, like your first show, like he's like wherever it is in Canada, like I'll be there. I was ah, like, damn, fuck. bro. Yeah. The fact that that's like real love, like, real, yo. real, bro. That's like, yeah, and he was like, yo, me and my girl will be in the front row. Damn. And I was like, yo, that's so- <laughs> <laughs> no, <I'm kidding. laughs> Okay, so if you haven't had some weird fan interaction, I know yeah. you've definitely had some DMs, like you just explained. <laughs> um, is that the, like one of the like craziest DMs? Like, but like, or is there other ones? Like, uh, has a girl ever said some wild shit? Like the Twitter, like the Twitter fucking comments. Ah, uh, yeah, it does happen. Like, like um, sometimes you just receive a straight picture, bro. And it's yo, just like, what? And it's just I'm like, sorry, you know, bro, but those those yeah. girls, man. It's like yo, like That's they cool. have something going on. Yo, I didn't know. Is that, I've never heard that in my life. I didn't know, bro. It it's do. like it's happened. Like oh, it's only happened like once or twice. Yeah. yeah, but like it's just like from my pers- from my point, it's just kind of like yo, like like the fact that like I do it for you so much, amazing, right? Like I yeah. appreciate you. Yeah, you know, but like, what is really the motive there? Like, what yeah. do you think is gonna happen? Yeah, like, you think I'm gonna send you back a picture or some <laughs> like, shit, what? or like I'm just gonna be like, all right, yo, like this is where I live, 
pull through. Yeah. Like, bro, like... Yeah, what, what are they thinking, bro? Like, so, I don't know. So, what's the thought process? What, what time do they send it at? Do you see the time? Bro, <laughs> sometimes it's broad daylight, fam. No, it's just like, bro, double... Just woke up, bro, bro, d- <laughs> bro <laughs> double-cheeked up on a Tuesday, bro. I swear. <laughs> that's fucking insane, yo. Um, that's hilarious. That's but, nice. yeah, like, obviously, like, you know, demon hours is usually more common, but, like... I don't even see it till like broad daylight, so I'm yeah. not even. I'm like, bro, what the fuck is going you're like, on? You're like, why do we just yeah. the camera? You look at your DMs, you're like, what the fuck, bro? <laughs> like, 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 I'm like rolling out of bed. I'm like, just lock it, put it back down, bro. <laughs> you're just like, fuck, well, I'm. I'll deal with this later. Yeah. No, but usually it's just like um, one that I actually like. It's it's funny to me when I get it, but I do get it pretty often. Is like, I'm surprised you even replied. Mm. Um, because like, <clears throat> I try, I tr- like. I've and I've said this on my live so much on TikTok that like, like yo, I hope that like anybody doesn't take it personally if I don't respond to them, because bro, like, like, so I try to make it an effort to reply to the people like, at least that are only talking about my music, uh, if that right, yeah. because it's like bro, those are the people that are gonna get you to where you need to get to, yeah, so you and like, prioritize them. I love you all for yeah. real, right? Like if any anybody who's like even plays my song one time, like it's actually like you know till the wheels fall off. But yeah. bro, like it's like it gets overwhelming, bro. Like yeah. sometimes, like if I get off a TikTok live, bro, it'll be like a whole new batch, yeah. and I'm just like, bro, like. There's one of me and there's so many of them, right? Yeah. So it's like, it's like, can I reply? Probably, but do I always want to? No, yeah. Yeah. right? It's like, and it's not even, it doesn't even have anything to do with like, is she beautiful or is she like, what, you know what I mean? It has yeah. nothing to do with that. Sometimes I'm literally just like, bro, like my boys will even see them and they'll be like, bro, this is a dime dog and you're not even fucking, I'm just like, bro, like, yeah. like, like, and I don't even mean it on some like fucking boasting shit, but like, when you it's like anyone who's doing like something like we we do yeah. when you're in it for long enough it doesn't the excitement's not the same anymore yeah. Yeah. right i remember when i first started every dm i was getting i was like bro like and a lot of them were just showing love to my like like you know like um I want to reword that because I don't want it to sound like I'm fucking some sort of lucha just like nah, moving nah, everywhere, you know? Just, but like, yeah. I was just responding and being like, yo, because yo, like I said, like the excitement at the beginning, I was just like, bro, this never happened to me before, yeah, you know? Yeah, yeah. But like, I was literally just showing love back, like, thank you, means a lot and moving on, right? Yeah. Yeah. But bro, sometimes it just gets so overwhelming and it's like, yo, like I said, like I can do it, but like, I don't always want to. Right? Like, yeah. like, <laughs> yeah. it's a lot of work. Like, like, it is a lot of work, time. bro. Yeah. And it's like, bro, that's time that I don't have. Yeah. I'm already yeah. spread so thin between like gym, work, and music. Mm-hmm. It's and great. like, yeah. that's what yeah. it's. and if I'm trying to like, I thought he said some such shit. Yeah, that's why I thought, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why I can feel that. Why do you say it like that, man? No, I just said that's said it in the way. Bro. No, I just, oh. guys, I'll just say, I, I, like, I really and then I was like, yo, I just said spread thin. Like, is that some sauce? Yeah, <laughs> I was no, like, no. Oh. nah, it's um, you guys, bro. I didn't nah, it's, it's you because you no, do that no, every no, time. No, you're trying to cover yourself, yeah, yeah. You guys, nah, but like, um, but yeah, it's uh, like, it's just like, it's, it's, but yeah, one that I always get is like, I'm surprised you even replied, mm-hmm. yeah, and then. Sometimes it's kind of sad because that's the point where I don't respond after. Not because like I don't want to, not because of the message. Well, well, just because bro. I forgot, I forget. Like it's yeah, like, yeah. bro, sometimes I go on my DMs and like I go down, down and I'm like, fuck, like I forgot to respond to this one, you yeah. know? And it's like somebody that I actually know. Oh, so it's like oh, I was supposed yeah. to, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. So then I'll just tell them like if it's people that I actually know that I'll be like, yo, just DM, I mean, uh, like text me or whatever. Cause yeah, like, yeah. Go like drown in, and the people go that need down. to, the people that need to reach me, like, they call me and FaceTime me anyways, yeah, right? Yeah. And you only need two or three of them. Yeah, for real. Maki, like, I love you all, but, like, if I don't respond to your DM and you're seeing this, <laughs> I love you. <laughs> but it does get hard sometimes because there's only one of me and there's so many of them. Yeah. And it's like, how much can you entertain? Yeah, right? yeah. There's I some girls. Girl, are and, right now. and then there are some so girls. No, no, no. Yo, keep them coming. Yeah. They just watch all the way till the end. Of, like, yeah, 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 yeah. No, no, no. Keep them coming. This whole thing for nothing. They're, 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 they're welcome. They're appreciated. They're learning yeah. all about you just so they can text you, relate to you. Uh, you nah, know, nah, nah, nah. It's like, it's, and it's not even, people always ask like, yo, like, do you ever get turned off by that? Or like, if a girl's like reaching out to you and but that's not true at all, bro. Like, like there's no rules to how it's supposed yeah, to start. You know? If she, bro, if a girl is confident enough to be like, yo, like I literally just want to say that like, I think you're a beautiful human and I love your fucking voice. That's it. Yeah. And sometimes bro, like, there's times where I give girls responses where they could easily respond back to, but they don't. Yeah. They like my message and they kick. Yeah. You know, so it's like all sorts of things, right? Yeah. But like, it doesn't, like, it's no, like, I just, like, there, there might be like a misconception sometimes where it's like, yo, do you get more attracted to it if like you're chasing it or if, 
like you dm first like that's not a thing like if a girl dms me first and like <clears throat> like i've had some great situations come out of girls that dm me like me first you know yeah, yeah. so it's like it's not there's there's nothing to that like if you want to send me a dm one last lose. one last question we'll yeah. end it off on this yeah what's your one goal that you have for like this year that you want to accomplish like soon you know short-term goal um, and then what's one goal that like long-term long-term that you want to achieve that's besides like you know just succeeding and okay like, okay um more specific short-term um i want to get one song this year at least that hits like 500k to a million streams yeah at least one possible yeah. the way <coughs> you drop it and shit yeah, yeah. like yeah. that's another thing too like i just want to say that like at the beginning of this year i started this thing where i'm dropping every two weeks for the entire yeah, year and i noticed yeah. that. so i just started january 27th i dropped a song called out the way and i'm doing it like but like to that bitch too. <laughs> oh yeah you told me that yeah, yeah. yeah. and like like just like just for anybody who doesn't know me like it's not just like singing or rapping like i make all types of shit like i just dropped the afro beats track like yeah. just the other day right yeah. so like like that's that's one thing that i've noticed is that like if you want to be the greatest you have to do everything yeah. Yeah. because there's going to be some people who listen to r&b some who listen to only rap yeah. some who listen to both some who listen to like vibe tra- whatever it yeah, is right sad happy good, especially with music yeah. emotions have to be all over the place beats have to be all over the place all types of shit right you just do one, exactly, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. that's literally exactly. my thing right so like, one style, then that's yeah. one audience only. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, you know? So I do it all. Like, check out my shit. I'm sure you'll enjoy whatever you hear. Yeah. Um, but yeah, like 500,000 to a million streams on one song. That's one of my goals. Um, yeah, so I started with January 27th with Out The Way. Then I had Twins on February 10th. Then I had um, a song called Organization on February 24th. And now I just dropped Battle of the Broken March 10th. Yeah. And Say la vie, March 24th. Is it, so is it like That's a sick. strategy so where you're doing like <laughs> hype songs and soft songs or um, something like that? Honestly, like, I'm j- like, one thing I realized is like, and this is just like life in general, not even just music, like your gut always tells you. Yeah, like in the So moment, I just kind of yeah, like, that time. Marji to si koshish karlo, you know, like to like come up with a plan mm-hmm. or like, you know, like, but like obviously like if I've dropped like two straight like R&B tracks, I'm not going to drop like drop like three more. Yeah. yeah. I there is like some sort of linear like, yeah, you know, like, but it's like I'm just like pumping out music and like just giving it like to like I was waiting I was waiting for this guy to say like I'm just trying to like ma- like just right? keep <laughs> I'm just trying to keep like yeah right um damn good. they should be your only fans bro yeah. <laughs> like, um I'm just trying to keep in there like <laughs> I was gonna say in their face yeah. <laughs> yeah, okay now that's it's you bro it's like you it's literally you, you you, rubbing bro. off bro <laughs> 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 I swear he actually is nah but um Fuck, there's been too many moments like that. Yeah, no, yeah. You're gonna have to cut some cleaning, bro. You're gonna have to do some cleaning up on this podcast, bro. No, but it's just like, yeah, just keep letting people know that you're doing it, right? Like, just keep yeah. dropping it. Like, just not go like MIA for too long because I've done that before. Like, I started dropping music in 2020, and um, now it's probably the most progress I've ever made in the past, like two months that I've been dropping yeah, yeah. Consistent in terms bro. of like gaining followers, gaining traction, views on TikTok, views Marketing, on Instagram, impressions, that. everything, right? Yeah. Um, and even fan interactions like DMs and up in person and like, um, and it's, uh, so yeah, like it's, it's been going well and like, but like, yeah, like the journey just started. Just yeah. Just started doing yeah, that, like, bro. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I really actually. feel like truly it began now. Yeah. Just cause yeah. when you start being consistent, you know, cause now I good. have a group of people that listen to me every time yeah. and then there's more people coming all the time. From like my Instagram like videos and like my TikTok videos, like there's always new shit happening, and like every single day I'm noticing something new. That's like a tiny little milestone, but it is a milestone, it right? Is, yeah. So I do feel like 2023 at the beginning of it is truly when I began. Yeah. Um, and then what about a um, long term goal? goal? <laughs> um, I just say like yo, just be at a point. Like, I'm just trying to keep it away from, like, only music, like, in terms of, like, selling out stadiums or this mm-hmm. or that. Yeah. I will be the greatest ever to touch a mic by the time I'm done. Like, that's just a fact. Yeah. Yeah. But in other, like, aspects, like, I just want, <clears throat> like, I want my people to be good. Like, uh, my family, like, my two best friends, um, their families. Like, I just want to take care of everybody, bro. Like, I... Like, the way me and my boys are is that, like, we all bring, like, food to the table. You know what I mean? And, like, yeah, I am the guy who's going to be in the limelight. 
But like Just how we all know Who Drake's guys are yeah. People will know Who my guys are By yeah, name You know They'll be like Oh that's Harpy That's Nish That's Roman That's whatever Whoever yeah. may be there Right Even my video guy Sammy yeah. Shout out to him He's I'm and fucking we, we, You met him first Yeah time the yeah, day, yeah 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 Wasn't like, that crazy Bro I crazy. literally said Yeah um, Josh shot his video for the OPA thing yeah, yeah. And I was like to Josh I was like bro Whoever shot that and edited it Knows what he's doing And the edits weren't even like That that crazy yeah, yeah. Simple. And Josh was like Yo you're sitting beside him And that's literally how it started <laughs> yeah, I, no I, I told Sammy right. I was oh, like, So he's your video guy? Yeah 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 oh, wow. I told I Sammy I was like bro like, Are yeah. you down to shoot music videos? And he's like yeah So yeah like that that's came about So like him like Sammy, like, and, like, Harpy, Nish, Roman, like, all my people, my family, like, I just want them to be blessed, like, your team, bro. yeah, my yeah. team, like, yeah. I just want everybody to be happy, bro, yeah. like, That's fuck, true. like, there's so many small things and big things going on every single day that don't actually matter as much as we make them matter, bro, yeah. like, you know what I mean, at the end of the day, like, if... Bro, like, like we have been blessed enough to grow up with like our parents gave us everything we wanted and yes. all that kind of stuff, right? Yes. Like, we've we've ha- we've been like privileged like that. Yeah. But like, bro, even you two, like, you guys are like best friends, and I could tell, yeah. like, bro, like all this shit is taken away from us. Yeah. Bro, we'll be good with our family, 100%. right? 100%. As long as we have our family and our yeah. people that truly love us, bro. Because yeah. you're only gonna find like you'll be able to count on one hand how many people truly love you, yeah. and we'll fucking pop one for you and take one for you. You know yeah. what I mean? So it's part. like, say again. That's the best. Like, yeah. So it's like, bro, like find your people, like keep them with you, like because there's there's only gonna be like one or two, right? Yeah. Yeah. And like love them like you've never loved anybody, and it's like, um, just you know what I mean? Just like. That's it. Just help where you can, right? And it's like that's that's for, for me. That's what it is. And I know my 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 guys are gonna all be extremely su- successful in all the things that they want to do yeah. and they have planned for themselves. But I want to build like a like a like a empire of sorts where it's like like you do what like Nish, you do what you gotta do. Ramen, you do what you gotta do. Like Harper, you do what you gotta do. But like. Essentially, Rab na kare mala time kadi ajwe. We're taking care of, yeah, you know, that's good. like that's the most important like, thing. Like you know, like like, and it's not even about like having money to buy things, bro. That's just like you know, you buy something, you're excited about it for a bit, and it's gone, yeah, right? It out, but bro, just having financial freedom, where like, like I can take care of you, 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 all your, all your parents, every, yeah. you know what I mean? Like, yeah, essentially, when a girl comes into the picture, her parents, her family, like I just want it to all be like secure, yeah. and we're all so like loving and appreciative of each other where we're never like like tripping to like yo i need to ask for something or i need to talk about something can yeah. i say something you know yeah. what i mean yeah. it's all just understood right like it's yeah. like that's pretty much the long-term girl goal where it's like like yo just fucking just be grateful every day and just be happy dog. yeah and just like, be blessed for i know it sounds actually, cliche you know? and i don't want to like, i don't want to is like you know, yeah like, i don't want to i don't want to say cliche shit but it's just like bro isn't that what we're all chasing yeah for, it right? is. that's what we're all you know, like we to work get. for roti yeah. like to eat food and like we we do things to like get our life to a point where we're like happy you know yeah, what yeah, mean? That's, so that's essentially all it is 100%. But, yo, that was a fucking dope Fire ass pod, pod yo. Fire Fuck, pod. Nice yeah. length as well. It's funny because I know you guys didn't get to ask me many questions, but I just kept fucking talking. I like the shit where it's like so natural yeah, and like it's like actual it. conversation. Yeah, like yeah, that yeah. shit is like pure. I like know? that better. Because then it's literally just like yo, like, like if no one had even told us that there was a camera in the room, like yeah, we yeah. would have done the same shit. Yeah, right? exactly. yeah, that's it's the like best organic, part about it. It's organic. very organic. Yeah, 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 yeah. and that's yeah. good though because you're saying what you want to say and the people that fuck with you can yeah, hear you out. That. Exactly, yeah. exactly. And you can get some new people. That I do because that's what I, like I told you before the podcast that like there has been like five to six podcasts that reached out to me recently. Yeah, mm-hmm. I did want to save this one for the first one. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. And uh, and I was just like, because uh, obviously naturally there all will, there will be some overlap in the next ones, right? Yeah, yeah. But it's just like um, now this will also, since this is my first one, this will give like people a different perspective on like the ever elusive one, Justin, that's yeah, like, you yeah. know, is more quiet on, yeah. you know what I mean? So, because like, I always get like people will always say to me like yo I thought you were so like quiet and like very very serious yeah. and I am a lot of the time like I, I like to talk less and listen more to be honest yeah. like when I'm in a room like yeah. with people even when we were downstairs that day you guys know like I was just mm. we were just You're chilling just we were chilling, all having yeah. conversation but I was yeah. mad quiet I was yeah. just listening right yeah when it's a bigger group of people, but obviously when it's this type of setting, yeah, yeah. it's like if you're on the phone with someone, you or if it's a podcast, whole you whole have to talk. That's yeah, the whole that's point, the whole right? Point. So it's like I like that. One guy's just talking, you're just sitting. Yeah, there, right? yeah. Mm. 
Sometimes it happens. Sometimes. <laughs> like, yeah, I just, I, I, yeah. So it'll be a nice, like, different um, perspective on, like, yeah. Yeah, on, like shit that sure. they don't know. 100%. That's what this podcast about. Yeah, 100%. We got exactly. Dream Chasers, man. Like, dream Chasers, like, baby. Oh, facts. Views, facts. Yo, dream yo, Chasers. That was episode 39. Justin Baines. Um, yo, thanks for, for coming, bro. You. Amazing Thank pod. You, so much, you know, appreciate you guys. Dropped for a lot of gems. Me, dropped a lot of, you know, shit that he wanted to let you guys know. If you made it to the end, what's the word they're dropping in the comment? I don't know if anybody ever drops it, but fuck it. Drop a. What what should the word be you tell us? Um music. 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 Drop music. Alright, drop music, comment, uh check Josh's music. stuff out, it'll be yeah, linked yeah, in the yeah, description. Yeah, Subscribe, like, all that shit, and peace. Yeah. Peace. Fire. That was fire. <laughs>